You guys want me to come out? What's up, guys? What's going on? Guys, I'm still self-conscious about this pimple, so I know it zooms in, like, literally right there, but please don't judge me. What's up? What's up? How you guys doing? What's going on? I don't know. I changed some of the lighting again today, and, like, I'll be real with you guys. I know, dude. It's from all the stress. We'll just blame that. Dude, I don't know if this is bright enough for you guys. I don't know if, I don't know, dude. Is this, is this bright enough, dude? Can you guys see this? Very purple, looks good. What's going on, guys? So, we're gonna be doing the uh, kind of purplish. It's a little bit purplish. If it's if it's not bright enough, hold on. We, we can change it up a little bit. We can, we can, there you go, I think that's a little better. It's whatever. There you go, make it, make it a little more even, the other straight now. All right, so a few things today, guys. <clears throat> a few things. We have two things we're gonna build with. I don't know what you guys wanna do today. And by the way, hello everyone. Thank you, dude. Or thank you so much for the tier one. Two months, or three months, dude? Come on, thank you. Dude, I know, MT3 is sexy. What's going on, Dodgy? Gene, what's, Gene, what's going on? Better ginger? Yo, I'm so excited to think 6.5 V2? Me too. Me too. So we got two things we're going to vote on. Like literally before we start building the PCB today. We're going to vote on two things. What switches are we using today, guys? So save. If you want to make a poll for us. Make it five minutes long or something. Ten minutes long. These are palm holy pandas. So they're not quite as clacky as regular holy pandas. I already did a test of them all. Or we do tangerines that are filmed and lubed. All right. If you guys, we're going to make a poll. You guys are going to vote what we're building today. And then we're going to use the other switch, either the tactile or the linear, later on in the week. How's that sound, guys? Currently streaming from the gym. I'm officially the nerdiest person. Dude, that just means you have a big brain. That's all it means. You have a big brain, dude. I mean, tangies. We'll make a poll. I'll have one of the mods make a poll for you guys. And then we're going to start voting. For now, we're going to do a little unboxing. I would rather the tangies, to be honest, because you're built... I know, dude. I built everything with holy pandas, to be honest. I just really like the switch. I just really do, dude. Did someone say poll? Chozo, if you want to make it save, you want to make it... Whatever mod gets to it first, I guess. Either holy pandas or tangerines. few things we're going to go through. I'm going to make it clear too, guys. I know old cat's in here, so he's going to correct whatever I try saying. I made some notes beforehand. I have them up on the other monitor. A few things, guys. The foam here. I got two with mine. We're going to be using this foam here, which is more close to like a sorbethane. The other one's like an EVA foam. We're going to be using this for our build today. Sound good, guys? Thing nasty. What's going on, dude? Wow, tangies look good. They do look good. If you guys want to vote in the poll what we're using today, guys. Actually, it's pretty divided. I'm not going to be honest. If you look up in the chat over here, wherever it is for you guys. All right. Probably don't need this box quite yet. But we got some screws and stuff. I'm going to take them out for now. And we got our feet. Now, if you guys did order something like the white case, the e-white case for the Think 6.5, Agreed, that's a nice stash. I'm glad you guys like it. I really am. Fresh haircut for old cat. I had to get something done for him. So if you guys get the e-white case, I'm told, I'm not sure if this is 100% confirmed by old cat, and he did, he did mention it to me last night, that you guys will be getting a lighter colored feet, foot, feet to, you know, go with that. Just gonna leave that there for now. So here's the question then. Here's the question. Do we want to unbox both and just show you guys both? Or would you guys rather save the other unboxing for some time this week? What do you guys want to do? You guys let me know. Unbox both. We're only building the polycarbonate one today. And then we're going to build... Well, we're going to mix and match today too, maybe. Actually, it's going to be hard to mix and match. Because we're, we're going to build the polycarbonate one. I mean, we could. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll, we'll think about mixing and matching today. Stop teasing. I'm sorry, guys. 
I'm sorry. What's what's going on, everybody? Though. The shape of that foam is irritating you. How come? Why is it irritating you? I'm curious. I don't remember which one here. This one here is. So you guys are gonna see. We've waited this long. We're gonna open this nice and slowly, so we don't pull any Linus Tech Tips and drop anything. So, here is the plate. I believe this is for this is for the E White. So this is a two U. This is two U. Yeah. This is the two U badge plate. I think. Yes. So these are the plates that you guys are going to be getting too. I don't think there's a difference actually in the plates. Maybe I'm mistaken. So it's this way here. But the plates are quite nice. And they are FR4. Which is going to be fantastic. Actually, this is the 2U. It might, I might have mixed up the plates. I was playing around with them the other day. We're going we're gonna to open them all up though. Here is the E-White version. It's still wrapped up. So we're going to unbox this right now. Get this box on the floor. So positive and hype, I love it. We try our best to be positive. Let's just focus in here. It's gonna be a little weird because it's still wrapped in saran wrap right now. But you guys can see, it looks pretty awesome. This is the white badge on the back too. What's really nice about this particular case, I like the USB cutout design over here with the little cogwheel. All right, one thing to note, how beautiful this back looks. Look how beautiful this is, guys. Look how beautiful that is. Side view? Um, let me open it up first so you guys don't see all the plastic. You know, I didn't actually think this through of how to, how to open this. Mm, let's just grab... I don't want to use my gigantic knife because I feel like I'm going to scratch it. So we're just going to... You know what? I have these. It might be too tight for your cables to work. What do you mean? I mean... I'll be honest, I think it, it definitely will be. It's going to be a toss up between using these two keyboards like literally every day. All right, let's take another look without the saran wrap on or whatever you guys want to call it. Actually a lot nicer without that glaring gloss on it. Man, that is actually... You can kind of see too, this is raised a little bit. This is actually beautiful. That is actually nice. May I ask what key the top key is? This is a Rama Koyu. This has been my daily driver for a little bit. It's my, uh, I like the thick bezels on this one here. The lighting on the Koyu looks kind of crazy. The lighting on the Koyu? It just might be because I have like literally 15 different colored lights here to give accent to everything. I'm gonna move this over. The other thing I wanna show you guys, and I wanna let you guys know, which is like a huge deal to me. This is a huge deal to me, okay? Here's the PCB. So I already made sure this one here works. We're gonna be doing the polycarb, so I took the one U PCB out, okay? Look at that. Look how nice this is. All right, look how beautiful. All right. You guys want to know the best part about this? I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Just get in here. It's flashed out of the box with Via. I'm just letting you guys know. So it's, it's Via com compatible right out of the box. Right out of the box. Literally loaded this up, booted up Via. And I was like, yeah, this is awesome. I love Via. Via, Via, whatever you guys want to call it. Hey, I saw your build stream uh, titled the 6.5. Uh, are, you are you thinking of building? Wait, what? Hey, I saw your build stream title. This what 6.5 are you thinking of building? Oh, the polycarbonate. We're gonna be building the polycarbonate, dude. Do you have a limited edition? No, I do not. All right, so we're gonna put the white one away for now, since we are not doing this one here right now. But I thought I'd show you guys. All right, here's the polycarb one. Thank you, dude. Oh man, sadly late. Thank you so much. Sold stash you got going on. I try my best. Was a play on words? I don't know, guys. I'm not too big brain today. This one here is a lot of stuff packed inside of it, so I gotta like weasel went my way open with this. Do you prefer the polycarb or the E white? If you guys know who, uh, you guys know my preferences. You guys know, I do love 
I do love polycarbonate. I just hit my microphone. How's the white finish? It's pretty flawless. Like I took it, I mean, my, mind you, I did most of my inspecting while it was kind of hidden away, but it was pretty nice. So there's actually, this is the one for the two years. So they're just in the wrong box. I moved them all around. Polycarb, dude. Dude, glad you're streaming. I'm, th I thank you guys, dude. Goddamn the camera quality. Thanks guys. So guys, the frosted polycarbonate one, this is with white badges, so this does look pretty pretty darn clean. We're gonna open this guy here up too. Pretty nice, which we kinda kinda teased a little bit the other night. What do you think of the Think V1? I really like the Think V1. I, ha I had three of them. My uh, my friend ended up buying one, and then he needed the money, so I bought one off of him, but I really, really like it. So keep in mind, everything we do today, guys, these are prototypes. So if there's any like weird little mishaps with these, we'll all be corrected. Did you get a special edition? No. I'm, I want the Schrodinger, as always. The white on the polycarbonate, though, does look pretty darn clean. Can you put uh, up a poll for the 1U and 2U? I think we're doing tangies, right? That's what one, because we're doing tangies. Uh, we're going to be doing the polycarbonate today, and we're going to be doing the e-white one later on in the week, too. Do you have any sailboat badges? Mm, what was on the... Oh, the compass. No, I don't have a sailboat one. What's going on, Super Switch? Should I join the KBD67 Mark II? That is completely up to you. Uh, it was an okay keyboard. Um, I thought the keyboard could have used... I mean, the keyboard definitely does sound a little hollow, the KBD67. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's okay. It's a little, little the, the bezels are quite narrow on that keyboard, so it's not quite, quite my thing. So this is the gasket in here, guys. Which we're going to learn and put to get together, because I actually don't know how to put the gasketing on this, since I've never even opened these yet. Trusting Schrodinger, trust in Air Potter. Always do. Can we see side by side? Of course. Of course we can. Are really making me work out today. But there they are. Here we are. Did you get multiple to you badges? No. What is where? Uh, where is your artisan box from? This was made by someone in our Discord. So if you guys want to join the Discord, his name is Jabril. He did it. So I think we are doing tangerines today. So we're gonna move the holy pandas to the side. Move this to the side as well. Move the feet to the side since we don't really need it right now. And same with this. How light is the polycarbonate compared to the aluminum? Very much so. Very light. Very, very light. Um, this does have a bit more heft to it. Polycarbonate, you can feel the weight is centered mostly towards the middle. How is the E-White? Is it perfect? Um, we, can do it. we can do a quick little inspection. Mind you, there's some dust already on it. I mean, I'll let you guys be the judges. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty damn good to me. And I have pretty good cameras, so if you guys can spot anything. I actually really like the compass badge. At first I was like, you know what? I'm probably gonna go for the... Do you guys hear that? Did you get... Is that a fucking storm? Do you guys hear the lightning and the, and the thunder? That actually scared the crap out of me. Nice rectangle. Thanks, guys. Nautical badge is sick. You guys, by the way, since now it's storming outside, apparently. No, that was that was a, that was a some lightning, some thunder. If it uh, if power goes out, stay with. I'll be back up in like two seconds. Great camera makes the I mean, dude. The two you looks nice. Same with the one you though. I, I really like the way this is. Like one of the things I really do appreciate is how this kind of comes right off the edge on the polycarbonate one here, the one use. So it really does feel like a good design choice. Oh God, it is actually severe thunderstorm warming in Toronto. Why is this gotta happen right now? It was literally just sunny outside. One sec guys, let me just check the weather. I'll let you guys stare at these for a second. Hmm. 
It's raining. <laughs> Both look amazing. Will you mix and match? Yes, we will mix and match. I'll fuck you back. I'll stream now, boys. All right, so we're gonna put away the white one. We're gonna be doing the polycarbonate one today. I like the polycarbonate one, guys. Okay. We're doing polycarbonate today. This is my choice. Everything else will be your choice today. This is my choice. So pump for this. Let's go. Yes. All right. Let's take her apart. So what kind of screws are these? These are hex screws. So they did give me a screwdriver. And you know what? I actually don't remember where I put it. So I'm going to use mine. It's actually a nice screwdriver they, they, uh, they sent over. But let's use this one here. Chat one you or two you? What do you guys like? Do you have the brass weights? No, I do not have any of the brass weights. I think this is the right size. Oh. One up. Dual pull. I'm building the one you today. Wait, you guys really want the two you to be built? You guys actually want the two you to be built today? Oh my god. Is this for building? What are we voting on, boys? <laughs> you get a board uh, with the Gray Studio screwdriver? Dude, I know. Two you. No build polycarbonate. One you. Two you. Look at you guys. There's like over 75 of you guys already on the two you. Oh, just a pull on preferences for the bat. We're building the polycarbonate. We'll build both this week, guys. I promise. Polycarbonate gone. Are you guys telling me you guys don't want to see RGB? Is that is that what's happening right now? You guys don't want to see RGB? Impossible. Need polycarbonate? I always need polycarbonate, dude. An alu brick RGB sucks. Oh, come on, guys. Let's be positive with the RGB people like me. I love RGB. Put to you on the uh, to you top on the PC bottom. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that first. Let's build one at a time. Let's build one at a time first, guys. But I actually really like the white badge on the polycarbonate. I would have never actually guessed to kind of mix that. Have you weighed both of them? No. I have not weighed anything quite yet, but I will do some stuff for you guys regarding weight, measurement, all that kind of stuff. Very, very soon. What type of switches are going, uh, what type of switches are tangerines? Anyone know? They are linear switches and they are quite smooth. And we did film them as well. So they're going to have a really nice sound profile. Are these screws different or are they the same? They're all the same. Okay. So screws top and bottom are the same. I'm new. What is one U versus two U? That is the badge placement slash height. I was going to say width there for a second, but that's incorrect. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Uh, Twitch Prime. Thank you, man. Jay Brandon. Thank you, man. Wow. Appreciate that, dude. And thank you guys for all the follows and stuff, too, guys. I appreciate it. By the way, guys, by the way, we haven't decided on which keyboard we're doing for who yet, but one of these keyboards you guys saw today, one of them, one, not both, one of them we're going to be giving away. Oh, not on stream you. today. That'll be on Instagram sometime during the week. But one will be given away, letting you guys know. Oh my God. Thank you guys for all the Twitch primes. Herm, thank you, dude. Module? M module? Thank you, dude. So spammy? Thank you. Wow, dude. How much heavier is the alu? I mean, I don't have exact oh, numbers for you guys on that. I actually need to get a scale for you guys, which is already in my Amazon cart. So that will be coming soon. Hydrate. Oh, Ooh, that's a good point. I should hydrate because my throat's pretty dry. Hey, Alex, new to Twitch. This is my first stream. X point. Thank you, dude, so much for stopping by. Ah. 
Took like four sips, dude. Nord, thank you, man. Avifo, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, dude. You guys are wonderful people. Thank you. Appreciate it. So does my mustache. Hydrate again? Jesus. Does Polly crack over time? Um, I don't think it has like a, oh, you, a period where it cracks. I need to make that macro pad. What's up, Christopher? E? How you doing, friend? All right. Oh, thank you, dude. Oh, thank you, dudes. Appreciate. So, all right. So you guys can see where the gaskets go, kind of. I don't know if you guys can on the polycarbonate version. These little inlays here, if it wants to focus. These are where all these are going to go. And you guys can also see the badge placement at the top. If you guys want to take a look at this too. Are you addicted to G Fuel now? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, to be honest. Can you show the to you again? I can show the to you again. Dude, why don't I just put it over here instead of keep this keyboard here? Hold on, let me just take this keyboard away. Since none of you guys care about that keyboard right now. I don't have a keyboard to type to you guys now though, so. There's no need for G Fuel. I just like G Fuel. Okay guys, don't judge me. Who needs a keyboard anyways? Uh, not me. Apparently not me. Look, we're gonna pretend it's plugged in. Look, it's a real working keyboard, guys. It's real. It's really working. Will you get the brass weights? I'm gonna probably be getting. No, not before. Not before you guys get anything. I'm probably gonna be ordering a whole bunch of extra parts and stuff, just because I really like 65%. It's my favorite layout, and I want like every color of everything. So. But I do think that the polycarbonate's for me. I need to pick what kind of top I want to do because I want to do what Old Cat did, which he mixed the top and the bottom. The USB is loose, pushed all in the way. I don't want to scratch anything right now, so we're not going to do that, you know? Uh, brass is raw, and I'm too lazy to buy lacquer. The brass is raw? What do you mean the brass is raw? All right, so we're going to do one thing at a time here, guys. We're going to actually do some of this case before we get into the PCB. And I believe we're going to be using these. Yes. Now, for the polycarbonate, this is a softer gasketing material. If I can even get this stuff off. Come on, Alex. You can do it. So this is a bit softer. You hear that thunder outside? It's actually crazy, Moro. I'll be honest, Marl, I didn't even know there was like a thunderstorm today. So I'm a little confused. Gasket on the plate. Patina is life. Uh, so this is not going to be like the other one, I guess. So we need the one U plate, first of all. Why can't I reach this? <sighs> so let's do this first. Let's put this down. Brother, there was a tornado warning as well. Are you guys sure we're supposed to put it on the plate? Because what if we misalign it on the plate? You know? Are you guys sure? That seems like a bad idea. If we misalign it on the plate, then this is not going to sit very nicely. Dude, King, thank you so much for the five tier one subs. Oh, man. It says gasket on the plate. I just think that means where the gasket sits. Dude, I don't actually think that means... Subs. It says gasket on the plate and old cat said to do it. Did he say to do it? Gasket on the plate? Okay. We'll do it, guys. I just show goes to show you guys I always rechat. Always do. Litho, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, dude. Appreciate that. I kind of think this is a mistake. Honestly, if it goes in the case, then you can just swap plates out whenever. That's what I'm thinking, to be honest. I don't know if I'd put it. Old cat, can you confirm? Is this supposed to be on the plate or is it supposed to be inside the case for the gasket? I swear to God, old cat sent me a screenshot. You can put a couple on the plate. I don't know. I don't know. It's possible on the case. You just said it's easier to align them on the plate. Don't need to put all on the plate. Okay, let's do let's do the case, guys. Let's do the case. I'm more comfortable with the case. I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier for me. Oh, I can see what old cat means though. Why it would be easier to align on this. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Let's do it on the plate then. Oh, thank you, dude. Put 
Let's see if that fits. I see what old oh, cat means. You. Okay. I get it now. Polaris had them on both the plate and the case. I'm gonna do one on the top for both sides and then do these ones here in so we can just align it better. I get what old cat's saying. Oh, plate is so sexy. I agree, dude. Thank you guys so much for all the Twitch primes, dude. Shutterstock, thank you, dude. It's Derek, thank you. Sandy, RGB is life. I agree. I agree. Rest on the case, yeah. Good starting points on the gaskets. Yeah, I mean, we're here to learn too. We've never built one of these before and we have no references either. The music choice, thanks guys. So we are learning as well as you guys. Well, I am learning you guys. There's nobody else in the room. At least I don't think. Hydrate, give me a sec guys. Give me a sec, I'll hydrate. I can confirm though, it is a little easier to put them on the case, but I see what old cat means. It, it would be better for alignment. We'll do two and two, so two on both sides here. Oh, thank you, dude. Oh, thank you, dude. Guys, luckily the thunder just stopped. Uh, the top is the E-white, correct. Top is E-white. Building the polycarbonate today. We're probably going to build the other one Friday. We'll build the other one Friday. We're going to decide what goes in that one there. And then before the giveaway, we're most likely, because one of these will be given away. We're going to decide which one goes into the giveaway unit. And like, I'm not sure which one we're giving away, to be honest. Dude, that's a lot of gifted subs. Oh my god. Guys, how are you mounting my top camera? Uh, it's on a boom arm, and then I have like a... God, what is this called? Ball head mount? And it's Hori. Dude. Guys, thank you guys for all the subs. Jesus. Jeez. Oh, look at this. Look how nice this is. Wow. This is kind of nice. Hype train, dude. You guys are too you guys are too nice. Guys. We'll catch up in subs here in a second. Oh, Some of these you. uh gaskets. It's really hard to get out of the socket here. This did not peel nicely. This is a 1U, yes. This is the 1U one. The other plate looks like that. Looks like this with the opening over here versus... You guys see? You guys see the difference? Uh, there should be gaskets on the side too. I just haven't put them yet. I just wanted to see how this aligned. So with the gaskets on the side, there is a little bit of a lip. Let's just move this up. There's a bit of a lip here, so we want to make sure we're not... Perfect. So you know what? My recommendation for the side one here, guys, because there is a tiny bit of a lip. For these side ones, perhaps do these ones here separately, because this is a very small area to get these in. These don't have that extra lip on them. This has a, an extra lip on the inside. Kind of hard to see on this particular case. I always need more caffeine. Always need more caffeine, dude.
I mean, it's nothing new. I didn't buy the bits yet. I'm sorry, I can't donate my. Dude, don't don't stress. You guys don't have to give anything. We're just here to we're here to have fun. Today is a fun day. Let's actually do this. Dude, that's a lot of gifted subs. Key Labs. Oh my god. Key Labs, what's going on, guys? Trolls have wings. Thank you so much for the bits, dude. Oh my god. All right. Ooh. This is nice. I quite like this, guys. There's going to be no giveaway on stream today, but there will be a giveaway for one of the things. It'll be hosted via Instagram. It'll be like the stuff that I normally do where it's like tag or not even tag. There's no tagging. Just comment something and make sure you guys follow Old Cat and Gray Studios. But we'll do that sometime during the week. Sorry if, if I keep missing your hydrates, guys. But the chat's moving too fast. Solder that up. I mean, we're, we haven't even put the stabs in yet. So not quite yet. We're going to do the middle for this one here as well. Oh man. Look at Unicorn, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Haram, thank you so much for the 100 bits as well, dude. Appreciate you guys. Sorry I'm late. Kool-Aid Papa, what's going on? What is happening? Making sure all the gas is nice and straight. Bueno builds. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the five gifted subs, man. Can you show us the white one from the side and the back? Yeah, I can show you guys this again. Guys, if we're not going to go as fast as some of you guys like, we're just here to chill and hang out, first of all. The prototype build will get done today, 110%. I'll make, make, make positive of it. But there is the back of the e-white one again. You guys can't really see it because it's like only when I do this angle here, but the light catches this emblem so nicely. I'm sorry you guys can't see it. Oh, thank you, dude. That's beautiful, though. That's looking pretty nice. All right. I want to get inside this case here and do this one now. Let's move that to the side. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we'll do all the gaskets on this one here because it's a little trickier to get in on. Yeah, we'll do all the gaskets on this one here on the plate. Actually, with the exception of the sides. The sides I still want to do. So here. Just grab our tweezers. Can you see the gaskets through the polycarbonate? A good question. A little bit, yes. That's pretty, I mean, if I, here, I'll show you guys a little example of something too. Let me show you guys another polycarbonate build with gaskets. One second. So this was another polycarbonate build I did with, with gaskets. And you guys can see, even though these are clear gaskets, you guys can still see the gaskets. See? So you guys can still see them. Usually with polycarbonate, if you have gaskets like this, it'll usually happen. Do I mind it? Absolutely not. I actually quite like the way it looks. That cube looks thick. Yeah, that cube's, that cube's a chunky one, dude. Need them perfectly aligned. 
And, and you know what doesn't help too? Mr. Chronic. That my hands shake like this always. I'm doing my best here to, to align them nicely. Actually, let's do this side. We're doing we're doing our absolute best here. Why are some gassets on the plate and some? We're just doing it for aligning purposes. Old cat, let us know that it helps. But I'm just gonna do oh, thank two you. and two. The polycar is most likely gonna be mine. We're probably gonna be giving away the E one, uh, the E white one. Hey, let's do these ones here on this plate here. Actually, we'll get it. Perfect. All E white turn yellowish. Um, I've never had anything dyed. Well, not dyed. Sorry, coat it with anything you white turn yellow i mean i'm sure if you leave something out in the sun it might to be honest i have no idea though have you guys ever seen e white coatings turn yellow i have never don't leave it in the sun yeah it's a good point Oh man, the whole backing came with this pot, with this gasket. Not use that one. Just don't sunbathe your keeps. Yeah. When is the expected shipping date for the desk pad? Uh, which one are we talking about? Are we talking about switch swirl. That should be hopefully the first week of August. Hopefully first week of August, guys. Hopefully no longer. Hope you put Aether on this. We'll see what we put on it. I have an MT3 set that I really want to put on it, though. So I'll probably have to go with MT3. Not have to, but I just really want to. Thoughts on the limited edition Polish Chamfer? I think it looks cool. I think it looks really good. We'll just have to take apart this gasket here. What are the little things you have in your desk? What little things are we talking about? We have a lot of things on the desk right now. We we think we all decided we're putting tangerines inside them. I think uh, we, we unanimously decided tangerines. I'm so divided on what color to get. There are, also, there are some safe choices for colors. There we go. I actually really like the way that looks. Damn. Gasoline do be looking nice. It do be looking nice, dude. Try creamsicles. Better align that. Perfect. It do be looking nice, though. It do be. Okay. Now, with that being said, guys, I'm going to have to move this back a little bit more. With that being said, let's put this here for a second. 
Actually, we'll move the wet. I have to move the wet one. I'm sorry, guys. We have to move it. Put that there for now. Stabilizer time. Missed out on MT3 Godspeed. I know. I know, guys. Holy Sky Blue Pandas are, are on Think 6.5 V2 would be absolutely amazeballs, you think? That'd be interesting. Duroc, Duroc Smokies? Of course. Of course, guys. Thoughts on the top uh, slash PC bottom? Oh, the Alu top one? I think it's going to look cool. We'll, we'll, we'll experiment with it, guys. We'll experiment with it all. We'll experiment with it. We have lots of plates and lots of everything that we're going to experiment stuff with. So we'll have to build a different plate or uh, we'll have to build a whole nother plate slash top for the aluminum one if we want to do some mix matching. So we'll do that later on, guys. Alex way of installing the gaskets is probably the best as it helps guide the plate. Yeah. And the reason why I kind of did this too for myself is because I do plan on picking up like one or two more of these because I want to mix and match. At least I'll know that all my plates will just have one in one, one in one. And it allows me some sort of guide to put these in. That way they're just now just sits in the place and literally just locks in there now. Without having to stress me out of if I've missed something else. Big brain. But I mean, you can do it all on the plate. You can do it all on the, all on the, uh, the actual case itself. Totally up to you. Dude, even though I like literally cut all my hair off for the most part on the sides, I still see hairs everywhere. Dude, I'm shedding. And chat, best first budget 65% build? Budget 65%? Oh, that's a good question. I have no idea. The way the uh, the way the gaskets show up show through, oof. I like that. I love that. To me, when you're thinking like polycarbonate, I'm always thinking of like old school game boat game boys. Where you can see like everything inside. Mmm, gotta love that. So we need a few stabilizers. So we got one, two, three, four. We can toss these to the side here. In the extra parts bin. But RGB dust mat. RGB dust mat's pretty awesome. You can change this one here too if you guys want. We can make a blue. We'll make a blue. We have a soldering mat command, but I change it to just blue mat because every single time I say soldering mat, no one would type in soldering mat. Uh, I did get a 2U version as well. I am Skipper. It's behind me. Uh, we're going to be building that later on the week. I'm not sure which one Apiary is going to be building this week too. I think she's building a 2U. Uh, but for now, we're building the 1U, and then we'll build the 2U on Friday probably with the Palm Holy Pandas. Uh, this will be immediately available after Twitch ends, like literally the moment we're done here. Twitch will have a VOD, and I'll move it to YouTube for you guys. Um, so we're going to lube these. This is the only thing I did not pre prepare in advance, just because I like doing this on stream, so it doesn't take that long. It gives me a chance to catch up with things. Uh, where's my next brush for this? Palm Holy Pandas. So they're the Holy Pandas with Palm Housing. So they have a bit of a different sound profile. Just a tiny little bit. They're a little bit, they have that same kind of scratchiness as you get with like a cream. Um, but it does, it's not as clacky, which is kind of one of the characteristics of what I liked about the Holy Panda. Uh, but you, you guys will see, it still has that very nice tactile bump that traditionally you'd find in the Holy Panda. So no loss there. I thought the group I doesn't launch until tomorrow. Yes, the group I launches tomorrow. I think the limited edition one launches. Am I wrong, guys? The limited edition one's today, right? That's today? I don't remember. I think it's today. Can we see the side profile? Yes, once I'm done with this, we'll do side profile. It's tonight, yeah. Like I said, one of the uh, more interesting things that I got to play around with. I'm actually really, really happy that the uh, PCB is pre pre good for Via. It's pretty good. It's goodness for Via right out of the box. 
And I think um, I think Old Cat was telling me too that the Space 65 Cyber Voyager will actually have Via compatibility right out of the box as well. So if you guys are not familiar, or that's like a reason why it's holding you back and you guys want to like, you know, reprogram your layout, it's gonna be easy. Marmac, 700 bits. Thank you, dude, appreciate you. So V is like a, if you guys have ever used like a Corsair program where you can just click a button and then you just map things the way you want to right out of the box like that. Yeah. A little easier than QMK, especially for people who are, are not familiar with QMK at all. Is VIA better than QMK? Um, I'd say it's different. I think I think better is the wrong word to use. Uh, I just kind of, pr I prefer it, but earned a 1K bits patch. That's new, I think. Is VIA macro compatible? Uh, you know what? I've never actually tried. I'm assuming it might be. I don't want to give you guys the wrong information, though. Um, I kind of just, uh, I kind of just had things bound to different keyboard things, so. It's the same thing, yeah, just like, it's just easier to use. Via is kind of like the, how can I put this, the nicer user interface. Yeah, it's a GUI. There you go. It's a GUI. Dude, thank you so much. 11 Monster, tier 1 sub. Thank you, dude. Via has dope macros. Yeah, I've never actually used any of the macro features. I don't really use them that much, to be honest. These are all like F buttons over here that I just have for stream, but it's really about it. Secret build, I don't even know what icon or what emoji that is, but that's pretty fire. Excuse the pun. Oh, thank you, dude. Dude, JD, J Dylan. Thank you, dude, for that young Twitch Prime, dude. Appreciate, appreciate that, brother. Dude, I've been trying to get used to typing without using my pointer finger. I mean, I type like a T-Rex, so. I am the worst person to tell that about, because I'd be like, dude, you're fine typing like that. I type like that. Thoughts on what's R-O-T-R? I don't know what that is, Perry. I'm so sorry. But a T-Rex can't reach the keyboard? Dude, why do you think I bring everything so close to me when I'm working? Why do you think it's all over here in the bottom? And I, even though I point the camera here in the middle, I can't reach that far. You guys know that. For space stabilizer, you're using a 6.25? Uh, 6.25, correct. Uh, I need to keep one of them, and we're going to be giving one away. Not today. Not on stream today. Uh, we're going to build it. We're going to let you guys kind of decide what goes in it. And then we are going to go from there. If you guys want the pandas, if you guys want something else, we'll have like a bunch of different switches available for the for the uh, giveaway. So for example, if you guys want some Telios, if you guys want some cream switches, if you guys would like Gat Inks, if you guys want clickies, I doubt you guys are going to vote on clickies. Do you need O-rings for the uh, stabs, stab screws? I mean, I have gaskets somewhere here. I moved them up here somewhere. Oh, They're over here. You, dude. They're right there. Right there. You guys can see them. Dude, Zach, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, dude. Would you rather get all black or PC? Um, that's, I'm going to be biased there and tell you polycarbonate. Is I like polycarbonate? But uh, yeah, all black works too, man. You can use really anything with uh, with all black. A lot of a lot of key sets go with that. What loop am I using on the stabs? We're using Crytox for this part. And because I like the way that dielectric, dielectric grease feels more where the metal contacts the plastic. We're going to do that. What spacebar stabilizer side do you need? I need a 6.25, but I believe you can get them in either 7 or 6.25 for the plates. Um, it should be on the, the order form, I believe. I'm copying the Darth uh, Darth Maul or Darth Maid to you with extra white uh, weight and badge. That sounds like it's going to be fun, man. I made a stabilizer guide, Alex. I'll take a look at that later. hands are a bit luby they're just a tiny bit luby i'm getting deep ocean yeah uh pc can cast a shadow on the bottom of the case under the right light which can look nice i like polycarbonate just because i like the, the different sound profile you can get from it it's subtle to me anyways because like for example i've tried the uh for example the key 65 i have both in polycarbonate and aluminum as well and uh, they definitely sound different 
What type of stabs are you going to be using? These are Duroc stabs. Duroc? Duroc? Don't know. Uh, but they're smoky gray ones. Smoky gray Duroc. Duroc? The Rock, dude. The Rock Johnson. How durable is polycarbonate? So with polycarbonate, um, my honest opinion on it is if you mistreat it, you're going to notice it can scratch. However, if you treat your gear with the same respect you treat anything else, you know, which, I mean, hopefully it's good respect you're giving things. You shouldn't notice any damages or anything like that. But again, it is a little easier to scratch. Well, a lot easier to scratch than something like aluminum. Uh, I personally, with, with only ever one of my polycarbonate boards, one, have I had a little boo-boo with it? That's about it. But everything else has been amazing. How long is the group I going to last? Oh, that's a great question, actually. That's the one thing I don't have on my list. <laughs> Old Cat, if you're there, if, uh, if anyone else knows... How long is the group bag? Is it 24 hours? 24 hours, oh, okay. Thank you, dude. Is the hey, Robocop- Alex, can you say frankly, Miss Piggy, I don't give a hoot. Frankly, Miss Piggy? I don't give a hoot. Was there a reason I said that? <laughs> Are limited edition badges different from the uh, regular version badges? That's a great question too. I don't know. I don't know too much about the, if there's any other different characteristics of the limited edition other than the uh, high gloss edges there, but there was a reason. What time does it start tomorrow? I uh, should be on the page. You're the best? No worries, dude. No worries. We're just here to have fun today, guys. Like, I know we're here to build too, but we're also here to have fun, which is also very important. So we are going to try some different keycaps on this as well. Uh, we're going to start off with MT3. And then I guess we'll move into Cherry. And then I guess we'll move into uh, SA. So I know everyone's going to ask me for Cherry and SA. 10.30 Eastern. We're talking about the group buy for this keyboard here. Uh, what cap color uh, ways go best with polycarbonate? Honestly, it's kind of like black. I think everything, um, because it's so neutral, you can get everything to work with it very, very nicely. Uh, I tend to usually go either really light colors or really, really dark colors. But you can use really anything with polycarbonate. Yeah, unlimited for the first 24 hours, exactly. What old cat said, guys. And then he's going to take a look from there and see slots. Polycarbonate keycaps would be a good idea. I mean, technically, I have polycarbonate keycaps. Those Rama grid keycaps are polycarb. Um, but they're also flat, so they're not the most comfy to type on, but they're really cool. I have a whole set of grid keycaps, but I don't think we're going to be using it for this build. What tactile switch do you recommend for sharp tactility and a low pitch? Medium weight. Well, you, weighting, like uh, in terms of spring weight, you can always change it yourself. I mean, if you're looking for like a sharp tactility, like sharp tactility, in my opinion, and I know this differs from a lot of people, I still think like the sharpest bump I think I've tried or like the most pronounced bump is going to be the blueberries um, or the holy pandas. The blueberries, I just didn't like because they're a little scratchy, but those can wear in on, you know, with more time. Uh, and I did find the blueberries a little heavier while well, they are a little heavier than some of the other ones too. Uh, but I'd say holy pandas would be like my best bet if you want something like that. My opinion. The Zelios does have a bigger bump. But I find, is it, I don't know, it's just me, because I have tons of boards with Zelios and tons of boards with Holy Pandas. I still find Zelios to be a little bit more softer of a larger bump. How about, Z what about Zandas? I kind of like the name of that. Zelios stand with Panda Housings? Never tried that, though. Sup, Alex, how you doing? I'm doing good, Free. I'm good. I'm doing well. Broken in blue blueberry blueberries are a beautiful thing. I didn't have patience for that, to be honest. I tried. I tried for like a good month, man. I couldn't do it. Holy Pandas have the sharpest bump for sure. Then Blueberries have a two-point press. Not the same. Uh, two-point press. I don't know about those two. Uh, did they have a two-point press? I don't think I used them enough to, to feel like a two-point press. I know they, they kind of felt like a good mix between like a Holy Panda and a Zelios. Oh, man. Roses, thank you so much for the 100 bits. 
What do you think about the Vega? Um, I mean, I have never tried the Vega. I try not to look at photos and, and then compare. Like when you, you know, when you like you're you're looking through group by photos. I mean, visually, I think both are impressive, but I don't I don't know anything about like what's inside them to be honest. Melly, what's going on, Melly Bella? How you doing? I'll hydrate, guys. I promise. Wait, isn't that an Ormac dust pad? This is not an Ormac one. This is actually TKC X switch keys with something I designed that's on it. We've had it for a little while actually sitting around here, but it's finally releasing on Monday for a TKC. And it'll be on switch keys as well. All right. Wait, why'd I put away the Dalek degrees? We're gonna do one last little thing. Have you seen GMK Sumi? Of course, of course I have. I thought it's a really cool set. Who asked about marshmallows? I thought I saw the word marshmallows somewhere. I know, rip shipping. We're gonna do one last thing to this. We're just gonna, like Mint really says, plug the butts. You're just plugging the butts of these with a little bit more lube. I find it helps even out some of that lube. Give it a more uniform feeling. It doesn't take that long to do, so we're gonna do it. When is Chinese New Year? That's a great question. I thought it already passed. Didn't it already pass? Didn't Chinese New Year already pass? Or am I wrong? Am I mistaken? Yeah, it has. It's February, right? Yeah, yeah, it's February. I was gonna say, we're, we're kind of in the middle of the year here. I mean, it passes every year. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> How does this board compare to the Iron 165? I have not tried an Iron 165. Um, so I really can't compare, guys. It's really hard for me to do comparisons if I haven't actually tried the board. Like, visually, I think they're both awesome looking boards. But again, I can't give you guys more than that, unfortunately. Anyone know when Dragon Fruit switches are out? I think we're going to be seeing those soon. I think we are going to be seeing those soon. Depends on the moon around Friday, around February, around Friday, I thought. Okay. Time to grab our plate, screw these down, and then we're going to put our switches in and get to work. And then get to work, guys. Have you tried a progressive linear switch? Yes, actually I have. The marshmallows, if you guys want to, towards the end of the stream, we'll stick, if you guys want to stick around after the build's done, I'll show you guys some different linear switches. But the progressive linear switches were actually very, very nice. Alex, where can you get the key stab gasket? Thanks, the key stab gasket. What do you mean, key stab gasket? Hopefully the aftermarket for this board isn't ridiculous. I mean, guys, we've seen some pretty, pretty insane prices for things lately. Like for example, I end, I bought my uh, M60 aftermarket way back when, and I got it for 550, which was with an internal weight, with switches, which was pretty good. I'm now seeing those same M60s, the, the Dash A's, so I guess one of the first iterations, go for uh, like 800, 900 bucks. So it, it's, the market's been like pretty crazy lately. The market has been pretty crazy. What's the difference between linear and progressive linear? Progressive linear, as you go down, the weight of the spring changes. Alex, how are your experience with Duroc versus C3? I have not tried C3, so again, I can't give you too much of an opinion there, but I have had zero issues with Duroc stabs. Zero. I know some people say that they have uh, stab wires fall out of these sometimes, like rare occasions. I have yet to experience that. I think, yeah, sorry, I'm lying. One time experience that one time 
Uh, I don't have any videos personally for learning how to solder, but if you guys do want to learn how to solder, there's tons of good resources online. It's actually extremely simple. And honestly, guys, it's one of those things where you just got to pick up and, and try. It's, it's really one of those things where once you actually try it, you'll realize, oh man, this is actually way easier than I thought. Like way, way easier. Do you think an extra PCB will be necessary for this board? Um, I always think an extra PCB, if you can afford it, remember guys, if you guys have the money for it, is a good investment just in case you want to change anything or just in case something happens at least you don't have to go searching for a pcb that may or may not you know be easy to come by in the future so i always do think yes an extra pcb is definitely a great way to go but again this is completely up to your budget as well guys so don't let me or anyone else try to influence you otherwise do you think the e-white badge on the pc will clash it might, it might clash with some, and that's why if you're gonna go with something, go maybe more neutral. Um, but I mean, it, it, white's pretty neutral anyways. So completely up to you though, completely up to you. We put those stabs in correctly, we did. Okay, okay. I have stabilizer anxiety right now, guys. When uh, it's when I don't trust myself when I'm putting these things in. Solder inside and enjoy the smell of lead. Well, be safe with when you're soldering too, guys. That's the other thing. It is incredibly easy, what Swordfail said. It's honestly incredibly easy, and I was really nervous the first time I started as well. It ended up being so easy that I kind of looked at myself later on in the mirror and just questioned my life. So I did see that uh, yes, there will be a screwdriver and a tweezer. Old Cat, can you confirm that the new Fort, uh, the X4 RGB kit's coming default? I did see your post about that, but I just want to make a con confirmation with you. I think it did say it was, right? I think that is. I don't have one here, guys. But I think it is coming default with that now. I'm pretty positive. A pack of four for fourteen ninety nine. Wait for the four times kits. I'm confused. Oh, let's put the washers first. Guys, I ordered like six thousand fiber washers. They just haven't come in yet, so I'm just using whatever stock I had left. What will the shipping be like for extras? That is a good question. I do not know. Shipping right now for anything, guys, is pretty weird just because of coronavirus. So. Alex, have you tried the Alice layout? I, I have a few Alice boards coming. I got a bear. Unique plays, what's going on? How are you doing today? And we have a Rukia. And then we're supposed to be doing something from Clavier soon, whenever that comes in. But I have not actually tried one yet to answer your question. And with everything, guys, when you guys are screwing in anything, guys, like the guy from The Verge once said, Screw with confidence. I'm joking, don't do that. Just make sure you guys are screwing to the point where you're not stripping things. So just screw until it gets good. I don't know, just don't over screw. Screw with confidence, that was the best video. Have you guys seen that? Have you guys seen the Verge PC build video? That was the best thing. I think it got taken down a long time ago, but it was legit the best thing. I had a lot of fun watching it. Verge PC guy. <laughs> Dude, honestly, it was hilarious. So guys, make sure we have a table. When you guys are building a keyboard, make sure you guys got a table, please. Make sure. Thoughts on creams? I like creams. They have a really nice sound profile to them. Make sure you guys have a table. First things first, guys. My mom would have done a better job. Shots fired. Man, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, did anyone at The Verge, 
this is my actual question. Did anyone sit down? Like, anyone. I'm sure the editors know a thing or two about computers, too. Come on. And really think and go, none of this is correct. Dude, that, there was so much thermal grease, though. There was so much thermal grease. That's why I was kind of like, yeah. Sometimes these fiber washers, like, get clumped. I'm going to take this from here. I just don't know how no one stopped themselves and go, yeah, this is, none of this is correct. I don't like the way this stabilizer is sitting. Give me one sec, guys. Much better. To be fair, PC wasn't wor was working. I mean, yeah, boot it. If we if we want to give them credit for that. The worst part of the video is it was sponsored by a major credit card company. Yeah, it was sponsored by a major credit card company. It was just a strange video. Like it was just a very weird video. Thoughts on Nasu? Which one's Nasu? Nasu. Can anyone help me pick Snow White or Stormtrooper? Guys, when it comes to picking colors, I'd love to say I like a color more because it's my personal preference, but at the end of the day, that's my personal preference. I definitely think that if you guys are going for a case, pick what color you want. Make sure you want it. What is wrong with the threading on this? Hmm? Hmm, stabilizer? And then go from there. I've been fiending for a PC gasket mounted board. This might be the one for you then, bro. This screw. This screw does not work. We're going to put this over here. That screw no good. Okay. Let's see this foam now. Okay. And all of the foam looks like this, guys. So if you guys are wondering why there's a cut out there, it's because all of it looks like that. It's meant to support both. You hear the foam right? Is the foam right? Yeah, we got it. Okay. Look at this so far, guys. Does foam come with it? Yes. Look at this so far. This is looking pretty. Okay, let's grab some switches. To confirm, we we agreed we agreed tangerines to confirm, right? We agree tangerines. Yes. We agree tangerines. Okay. Okay. Just making sure. Don't want to let you guys down. Sixty-two grams are bust. You never let us down? I appreciate that. You guys never let me down. Holy pandas, palm pandas. We're gonna be doing the palm panda build still. No stress, guys. We are still gonna be doing that, just not today. Uh, they, uh, they are a little bit interesting, because tangerines to me look like pumpkins. To this day, they still look like pumpkins. I really like the way... Dude, this... So if you guys remember the Space 65, if you guys remember one of the points of criticism I had was the foam was a little too thick. And I think Old Cat agreed. This is actually a lot better. Last time, if you guys remember the Space 65 build, we had to really put a lot of force onto making it all uniform. But this is a lot better. This is so good, dude. Alu plates with linear. This is an FR4 plate. Alex, your artisan storage box to your left. Where can I take a closer look at that? 
I don't have any good photos of this yet, but this was like a, I think it was like a prototype made by a guy named Jabril in our Discord. I think a little display stand. You guys can judge what keycaps I'm putting on here. You guys can if you, would, you guys would like, but these are my choice. I pick these. This is for me. And we'll put other ones on later. But I probably will start with Cherry for this. We'll probably start with Cherry. I'm just making sure all these work. I should just use the same. No playlist coming in? I'm sorry, guys. We'll probably start with Cherry, and I'm probably just going to move this on later on. We can start with these two. Oh, I don't know why I put the escape key on. Don't ask me. Oh boy. Feels good. And the space bar. Stabs are good, guys. Stabs are good. The stabs are all coming back up. We're good. All right. Time to put switches in. I'm gonna put some switches in, guess. Are the new Holy Pandas from Drop? Um, these are not from Drop. These were sent to me by Potter and Old Cat. I'm not too sure if these are the ones you'll be getting on Drop. I, I do not wanna say they are, but they are palm housings. Thoughts on Band-Aid mod? I don't really do it. I did it once like a long ass time ago, but I have not done it since then. Have any of your KBD fans package been delayed by FedEx? I'll be honest, I just had to cancel some KBD fans packages just because nothing was being shipped. Um, I don't know why. <sighs> I was gonna say let's do step, but I kinda just wanna do regular today. We'll do regular because I don't have a steps cast lock in the set that I wanna use. No step caps, I'm sorry guys. It had to happen. I don't think anyone does. I think you're really right on that. Slayer says, do you have an aluminum proto? I do. I will show you guys here in a bit again. We're just gonna put some tangerines in, little pumpkin switches. It's actually a very nice fit. Look at that. I hope you guys can really see. Let's see if it'll focus on my hand. Pretty nice fit. Perfect. The legs going easily? Yeah, these are these are not taking much force to put in. This is actually very it's therapeutic. Rad, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, dude. Holy. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Imagine naming a switch that looks like a pumpkin tangerines. It does look it does look pumpkin-ish. It's pumpkin-esque, dude. It's very pumpkin-esque. KBD fans taking ages right now? Yeah. 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 It's very pumpkin-esque, dude. Uh, what are you planning to do for the aluminum build? I think we're gonna put Holy Pandas in it. Well, sorry. The aluminum build, you guys are, sorry, the other plate we're doing Holy Pandas. The aluminum build, we're going to be doing a stream Tuesday, and we're going to vote. We're going to vote because that's the one we're giving away. We're giving away the aluminum e-white. Does that sound fair, guys? That we're going to be giving that away with your guys' choice of switches? We're going to be building it for you guys, then sending it out. It's in a thunderstorm? I know. I know, dude. I'm not looking forward to it. I am because I do like storms, but at the same time, it's like, hopefully it doesn't conk out my internet at all. Have you lubed the tangerines you're using? We lubed and filmed them. They're lubed with Crytox 205G0, and we filmed them with TX Films. This PC, PCB, is, bleh, PCB is not hot swap. This is a solder PCB. 
I don't like the way that tangerine is. That tangerine's out of here. Ever tried those? I actually ordered some. I actually ordered some Type Jolly. I did order some, dude. But yes, we will build it for you guys on stream, the white one. I'll let you guys decide what we're picking. I might even host that if you guys are interested. If you guys are actually interested in this, because this might make it a little easier. Let me switch over really quick. I might do the... I look like a mess, by the way, guys. I promise you guys. I, I tried to clean myself before this, but it didn't work. It's going to make it easier for you guys. I'd love to get you guys' opinions on the switches prior to the stream on Tuesday. So I think tonight I'll list some different switches that we can put into that build that I have on hand. And then you guys can vote at it. But it'll be in the Discord. So I'll make a note in the Grace Studios Discord, but it'll be in my Discord, okay? Yeah, I know, guys. Welcome. My name's Alex. If you guys don't already know. If you guys don't know, I build keyboards. We have fun here. I'm not too, too serious all the time. Try to be as honest as possible with everything. Try to be uh, as cheerful as possible. Is that a Ross and Rad Zero? It is. These are Ross and Rad Zeros. Uh, the aluminum build is not today. No, we're splitting that up. And I think I think Apiary is doing an aluminum one too. So if you guys want to watch that twice, if you guys want to watch that twice, you guys can watch the aluminum build twice and get two different opinions on the board. What's the plate flex like? It's subtle. Um, it does have a bit of that foam underneath though. So you're not going to get too much of that, uh, that flex that you naturally would. That is a thick thock think. I like the way that sounds. Thick thock think. Uh, we're probably going to be doing it on Instagram unless old cat changes something. I think we, we both thought that Instagram would be the more fun way, but maybe we'll, what would you consider perhaps? I'll talk to old cat again tonight. We'll talk. Me and him will chat. I love my tangies, but God, they're ugly. They look like pumpkins, but I do like the way they feel quite a lot. Uh, you think this kid is good for beginners? I mean, yeah. I'll be honest, man, for what, what is it? Like it starts at 350, right? And then there's some variations that go up to like 370 or 380 of uh, what material you choose for 350. And again, this is completely subjective of what you guys want to do. For 350, you really like you get so much with this. And on top of that, like it's just a fun experience to build. Like one of my things I always tell people, if you just like building plus $70 shipping, sorry guys, I mean just the, yeah, sorry, plus $70 shipping. If you guys like uh, if you guys like building I don't know it's just fun what's up Mike how you doing not gonna lie while Alex did the stabs I made pancakes Cali time you have pancakes and you didn't ask me if I wanted any I'm offended Sandy I think chat all wants pancakes I made pancakes too what's wrong with you guys no one asked me only people who make their bed, that's pretty low. That's low, Regus. That thing's never going to get made, though. This PCB does have RGB. It does have the RGBs. Pretty low, guys. Just because I didn't make my bed. Don't do Instagram giveaway, please. Old Cat, old cat and I will talk about it, guys. We will, we'll talk about it. All right? We'll, we'll figure it out. We want to make it as fun for you guys as possible, too. But don't forget, this is more of their decision. Whatever, whatever Mr. Old Cat tells me, we're going to be doing. Accept Canadian exchange rate. Don't talk about the Canadian exchange rate, please. It only depresses me. It's like, oh, you want something that's uh, $5 US? Okay, give us 15 I swear to God, that's what it feels like nowadays. As long as you change the sheets every week. I promise I do, guys. Those get changed pretty regularly. I just don't make the damn thing. I promise. Don't like this tangerine either. Or this one. Just know Potter doesn't make money off shipping. Yes. Guys, just to be clear with you two, shipping right now anywhere with DHL, they have raised their rates. I don't know if you guys have noticed. And that's because of COVID. And I believe, old cat, are these shipping out of Hong Kong? Because I know Hong Kong right now, the only way to get mail out is DHL. 
How are you doing, best streamer? Steel Wind. Thank you so much. Thank you, dude. KVD fans, DHL, but they're based in um, a different region. So their DHL might not be affected. I know Hong Kong was affected a little bit more with shipping. Yes, so it is coming out of Hong Kong. So for example, if you guys are still waiting on the marshmallow switches, that's actually why the marshmallow ship, the switches haven't been shipped yet either. If you want DHL to ship those for you guys, DHL is actually charging them just to, switch, uh, to do a small box of switches around $50. So shipping is whack. I just, I wanna be clear that it's like nobody's fault at the moment that shipping's costing so much. It's just an unfortunate casualty. I mean, it's really what's going on. It is frustrating from a consumer standpoint, though. I totally get you guys. Totally get it. Hi, Minterly. You guys, we have a famous person in the chat. Hi, Minterly. Big Rona's fault. Big Rona, dude. Any sub $300 cases, boards right now that doesn't take months for group buys? I mean, you can get some ready made stuff off KBD fans. It's America's fault. Blame us. I guess. No blaming. Let's just all have fun today. Let's just all have fun building a keyboard today, guys. Come on. I'm ready for the RGB mod. Tangies in place. Tangies are weird looking switches. You guys are right. Tangies are a little strange. Give a little quick pin check. This this one right here. A little bent pin. Dude, thank you guys so much again. Duelum, thank you so much for the 200 bits from earlier. Sports gas, 100 bits, dude. Uh, what if one day you would build with cheap Amazon tools like a. To I could do that. We, could, we can get that rolling one day. Doing a little pin check, guys. I don't like the way this one here is curved a little bit. So what I'm doing guys is just make sure all the pins went through correctly. I don't know, I'm just going to replace this switch. I don't like the way that switch is sitting, period. One bit. And this one here I don't like. I want to electroplate this nickel. What do you think? I have no experience in that. None. Do you recommend breaking in novel key cream switches? Uh, yes. They feel a lot better once you break them in a little bit. Like miles better. I think we're good. I think we are good to start the soldering. Chat, did we forget anything? Did we forget anything, guys? Is the plate screwed to the PCB or are you just uh, resting it on top of your other hand? I'm resting it on top of my other hand. I said it creams are, are kind of yucky. I'm literally, what is this blasphemy? Why do you think they're yucky? They're like one of my top linears. I just bought a Tokyo 60. Those are fun boards. Those are fun boards, dude. All right. Let's move some stuff out of the way here. Let's get the soldering. Shall we get the soldering, guys? I always ask you guys, but I already know the answer. You're going to say yes. Let me move some of these cream switches out of the, or these tangerines out of the way. They require the same amount of work as other linears to get so much nicer. I don't disagree. I don't disagree, but they have a very unique sound profile. I don't disagree, Mitchley. Hey, newbie here. Are there any soldering uh, to the BCB involved when making a keyboard like LEDs? You don't have to do LEDs for these particular keyboards. Like most keyboard kits, I'd say that you're gonna be buying with the exception of some particular kits don't require you to do any LEDs. Uh, but these ones here are just the switches. Let's grab our wire and start doing that. Okay, you guys, let's not talk about cream switches um, and the way they smell, please, because you're just gonna make me throw up. I did that the other day by accident. I was opening the packages. I took like a nice strong whiff, dude, and I almost passed out. I almost died that day. I literally almost died that day, guys. I don't wanna talk about it. Dude, they smell like crap. Literally almost died that day, guys. Big strong whiff. Oh no, dude. Dude, it was so bad. Dude, it's terrible. It smells, it smells so bad. 
I did order a backup soldering iron, by the way, guys. Just just in case I want to change it up a little bit. It's like downstairs right now. What do you think of the 10U Space Pandora from 10U Space... What the heck? Like 10, 10 units long? I don't even know what that is, Alan. Neo Visual, what's going on, dude? Do you, do you recommend using coffee beans to de... I'll be honest, they're good in like a day or two. Like, they, they don't stink always, guys. They're not going to stay smelly. They're not going to stay weirdly fishy forever. They actually... The smell dissipates pretty decently fast, I think. I mean, have you guys had other experiences with them that I should know about? For me, it's pretty quick. The dam the camera down close? What do you mean, down close? Like, you want to see closer to the PCB while I'm soldering? You guys can see me shake? We have my other lens here. Would you buy a 15U space bar? No. I don't even like 7Us, to be honest, that much. I'm not a huge fan of 7U space bars. How likely is a how likely is a bad soldering job to damage the PCB? I mean, if you're careless with it, you could damage it. How likely it is, though, depends on the person, I suppose. To be honest, I've never been asked that question before. What temp do you solder at? I solder at 350 Celsius. Soldering is incredibly easy, guys. Like, it's actually, like, all we're really doing, I know the camera is a little farther down, and I just don't know where my other lens is right now. All we're really doing is you, you put this piece, the tip, on the gold ring, right? You're going to press against the pin. All right? And my hands are hella shaky. Just letting you guys know. All right? Then what you're going to do is feed some of the solder. Let it sit for about a second. It's going to melt, you know, all the way there. Make a nice little pyramid thing, and then you guys are good. You're pushing the solder into the tip here, not into the pin. You just put a little bit of solder, and then if you need more, you can add more. But essentially what you want are these nice little pyramids, and that's all you do. Like, for example, this one here, maybe a little bit more, you know? Maybe a little bit more there, you know? That's about it. You don't really have to do much else. A nice little cone, nice little pyramid. Cone or pyramid? What do you guys prefer? Can you zoom in? I really can't because this doesn't actually go down anymore because I have my monitor raised right now, but I really can't zoom in too, too much. Can't see? You know what? Fuck it. Oh, there's my lens. I hate putting this down over here. One second. Please don't fall. I'm doing this very carefully, guys. If I burn and get died, if I died, it did. It's your fault. It's all your fault, guys. If I died in it, it's your fault, guys. Are we happy? Are we happy? We're closer now. Get dieted? Tiny, what's going on? If I died in it, guys, it would have been all your faults. Did I unplug this? Oh, I almost did. I almost did unplug it. Nice lens. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Now, I'm not a master of soldering either. So you only solder the yellow circles? Correct. Well, with the, where the pins come out. So for example, if there is... Where's a good example? There's no switch here, so there's no reason to solder... Well, you can't even see where I'm pointing at. There's no reason to solder these ones here. Guys, the, the shaky hands are not my fault, guys. I was born with these. Please don't judge. 
you guys do realize I was born as a dinosaur, all right? These, these hands are an extension. They're not really supposed to be this long. That's what actually happened. T-Rex? Yeah. Born as a T-Rex, guys. My hands shake terribly, guys. So if you guys have steady hands, this, this whole process becomes a million times easier. Literally, the whole process becomes easier. Can you link your solder? It should be in the... Ch should be in the bio. Down below somewhere. Should be. Sexiest fucking T-Rex ever. Appreciate that. Thanks, dude. Is it worth getting an extra PCB? I mean, yes. If you feel like you need one, man, to be honest, and it's just nice to have too, get an extra PCB and an extra plate. Again, if you guys don't have the budget for it, then just don't do it. Lots of people offer good services too if you guys don't want to build your own too. If you guys want someone to build it, there's lots of fun services you guys can use for people to build these things for you. Okay. Why do people buy extra PCBs and plates? Um, I, For me, like, I've been buying all my latest purchases with extra plates and PCBs so I don't have to desolder to try a different switch on the same board. Alex builds keyboards? Sometimes. Will Grey Studios ever come up with a hot swap again? I actually don't have an answer to that, unfortunately. Apiary made my Iris. Mitchell has made my numpad. And Ayamaru has made my GF's Tofu. There you go. Don't be afraid to ask them for help too, guys. You know, if you guys are really that nervous about it and don't want to buy soldering equipment and you only want the one board, sometimes it ends up being cheaper that way. Alex, do you have a build service? I do. We do. I do build service stuff, but it's not very often that I do it. If that makes sense. Hold on a second, boys. still in the frame oh it's because it's like all the way up here my eyesight's like really weird i built three builds for you chozo I'm, I'm down dude i'm down sorry guys if i can't see chat at the moment is just me or the cyberboarders group i progressing at a, a breakneck speed compared to the uh a lot of the other group eyes will think use the same menus I'm not too sure. We saw her here like a real man. I saw her okay. I'm not the best at it. Like I'm not a pro solderer, but I've never had a board not work because of my soldering. What do you think about Mill Max? I mean, you could try it on this board. I'm weird. I don't think I'm ever gonna try Mill Max sockets. I don't think I ever will.
I'll be sending you some for my KBD 8X. Dude, I have an 8X I still need to build. I still have an 8X I need to do. Mm, I don't like the way that switch is seated. Give me one sec, guys. Yeah. Okay, we're just unplug it for now. We'll replug it again. What switch was it? This one here? This one? Yeah. And there's a little bit wonky on it, so I just want to straighten it up a little bit. Much better. Alex, where are your fume extractors? So there's a big fan over here pushing air outside the room. That's as much as I'm going to get for a fume extractor. He has want. I have no extra room in this, this room at all for anything at all. And I don't solder enough to have a bigger room. Well, unfortunately, guys, I have a big fan. That's all I got, guys. Charcoal beard, pretty much. The beard extracts everything for me, dude. The beard takes care of everything, guys. Have you ever had and wired a build? No, not yet, actually. I very much would like to, though. I think that'd be a fun project. I like the challenge of learning things. It's like one of the more fun things for me, the challenge of learning it. How do you know you've spent too much on keebs? It's a trick question, right? You can't spend too much on keebs. Trick question? I guess when you're on the streets with just keyboards, maybe then that's a good indicator. Maybe then you can be like, okay, maybe I spent too much now. Yeah, whenever you get evicted, If your wife leaves you or your husband leaves you, then maybe maybe you spent too much on keyboards and it's solely for spending too much on keyboards, then yeah, maybe. Set yourself a budget completely. Guys, for real though, your bank account is sitting not so hot because of all the corona stuff that's been happening. Please do yourself a favor and don't go nuts on keyboards. You eating food is more important than keyboards. <laughs> Budget, that's what? <laughs> My wife has a keyboard? I mean, there's that. You guys could definitely say that too. Ramen keyboards? Yeah, she's your ramen budget for keyboards, boys. Stop buying clothes. I know, dude. Honestly, I actually did stop buying clothing. Like one of my big like vices before this was going to like a mall with friends, seeing something I liked at a mall and being like, oh yeah, I can get this today. And then just, God, dude, I'd end up spending so much on clothes I'd wear like one or two times. It was bad. I stopped buying headphones. This is my last pair. This was like literally the last pair of headphones. Like I made an agreement to myself. I'm like, I cannot buy any more headphones. 
after this, like this has to be it. I stopped buying Yeezys and go start buying Keebs. You know, one addiction to another. Stop buying food. Don't do that, please, guys. Don't do that. Please buy food if you guys need food. This way, more hype than Yeezys? I know, dude. I'm way more hype, honestly. I stopped buying PC stuff. I actually did too. I was always upgrading my computer before this. And now I'm hard pressed to buy any upgrades. I'm very hard pressed to find upgrades. The only thing I do want to upgrade though is my graphics card. To the new series they come out with. I know I have a 2080 Ti, but like that's the only piece I wouldn't mind doing because it's easy. Oh my God, Mr. Bullets. Thanks for always being a positive contribute to the keyboard community. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Mr. Bullets. Dude, I try my best, man. I might not be the most professional keyboard builder in the world, but at least at least you guys are here, you know, just chilling out, being positive. So I, I, I appreciate you guys. I'll take your 2080 Ti. I don't know about that. I mean, except for Nintendo Switch. I just kind of use my brothers. And I'm like, yeah, we can share this. Water cool your 2080 Ti. Oh, man. I'm scared. Okay, that I'm actually nervous to do. Have you guys ever done, like, a custom loop? I have never, and it's scared. I don't know why that scares the shit to him. Like, shit out of me, dude. It scares me to do that. Like, what if the pipe bursts? What if I leak? Dude, what if it leaks? No, not what if I leak. I don't want to leak. Leak test? Dude, what if, what if it just cracks or something? Water plus... Yeah, dude. Water plus PC is scary stuff. You said it once... A tube got loose on you? See that? No, I can't do that. They don't crack? The tubes are rubber? I don't know, man. I don't know anything about water cooling stuff. I just know that it makes me nervous thinking about it. I'm even nervous with the all-in-one, to be honest with you. You can get EK kits for cheap. I've seen them. I've seen them for sure, but... but don't get me wrong. I would, I would love to do one, but they do scare me. Temperature difference may, uh, are very negligible anyways. Is it actually? Even if my room's like insanely hot? That would help a little bit. Do we hear again? Do you lube switches? I do lube my switches. I've only ever lubed two other people's switches ever in my entire life. Not to say that I don't lube other people's switches. But it's rare that I do. Are you both building Finks now? What do you mean both? Alex has a loop video? I do have a loop video. solder. I need one of those things Minchule does. Those little solder feeders. God, that looks so handy when I saw it on your stream.
you have to be patient do your diligence when you do that dude i'm i don't know man the extreme pc community stuff's crazy is a loop video on your only fans dude soon soon we'll do loop stuff on only fans dude keyboard only fans guys Keyboard only fans. Not bad. Not bad, Alex. Pretty good, pretty good. Missed two switches. I missed two switches? Where? Did I? Where? Where did I miss these two switches? I don't see them. You guys are trolling me. You guys are actually trolling me, dude. Next to spacebar? Oh my god, I actually missed a switch. You guys are actually lifesavers. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys. And row three? I don't see one in row three, guys. I don't think we missed a switch. Did I miss one in row three? Where? Right side? This one? I don't see it. By the screw? All the way left? I think you guys, I think, no, I think we're good. I think, I think we're good. We're fine. These are fiber washers. They hard trolling? Dude, they hard trolled me. I got hard trolled, dude. Back to our other camera. Oh, I think we shifted this camera all over the place. It's okay. Are tangerine, tangerine, tangerines, tangerines lubed? Yes, they're lubed and filmed. One thing I wanted to do quickly before anything. Oh, my fingerprints off of the top here. Tangerines? I can't speak, boys. I'm sorry. All right. Let's actually get the soldering pad off of here. It makes me nervous looking at it because I hate the way it looks. What's a good switch film? I use TX films. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Hope you're doing well, brother. Dude, it's Bankshaft. Thank you so much for the three months, my dude. Wait, don't you put the case? I'm just looking at it, guys. I just want to take a look at it first. Ooh. That is going to be pretty. That is going to be pretty. Isn't there another phone? Dude, that's a lot of gifted stuff. Cursed! Thank you, Cursed. I appreciate you, brother. Neo, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Cursed with the five tier one subs, dude. Uh, no, I don't think there's another foam, guys. I think that's it for foam. Wait, old cat. Is there other foam that I just didn't remember to pull out? I don't think that's it for... I think that's it for foam, guys. Why not have all the gaskets? So this way here... This isn't going to be mine. This way here so we can align it better. But the one that we're going to be doing for you guys, the giveaway one, is literally just going to be plain old simple all in the case. case foam yeah the bottom foam is not shipped to me so i don't have bottom foam but you know what i could do guys no nah, because then we're going to ruin the leds we're not going to do it right now we're not going to do it right now 
There will be another foam at the bottom. So I don't have the foam underneath, guys. I do not have that foam. FYI. Ooh. Okay, that would actually be... This is going to be so nice if we do swap the top and the bottom. Okay, let's screw this all together. Look at that. Look at that. Let's grab our screwdriver and the correct bit. We will we will try that out guys. We're going to probably be trying that out later on this week. We're going to be mix matching some Hot. Oh my god, thank you so much for the tier one. Hannah, thank you so much for the 100,000 bits as well. I'm just seeing that. Oh my god, oh. Hannah. Oh, it just said re. Really quickly. Re. I have a solution for your water cooling. Just use pasta. Pasta is good content and free food. I appreciate that. Did you spring swap your yolk holy pandas? I just left the stock one in it, but I might actually go back before we do those, and I might put progressive springs inside. What do you guys think? Should I put progressive springs inside the holy pandas? Should we or should we not? That is going to be a big question up to you guys. Hold on, let's, uh, let's put all the screws in first. Pro Springs. It's a nice artisan box. Thank you. So again, because it's polycarbonate, guys, we're not going to use too much pressure putting this in. Keep that in mind. We don't want to strip any screws. Oh, thank you, dude. Yes, I will show you guys closely once I put in the screws. Thank you so much again for the Twitches, Primes, guys. Nasri, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate you. I'm still waiting for my MF Metropolis. Dude, USP, uh, bro, you know who else failed me this weekend? Canada Post. I was supposed to get some other stuff for this build, and I got nothing in time. I actually ordered a GMK set for this build, and it's just sitting in the Canada Post office since Wednesday. So now I gotta scavenge GMK sets off of something else for you guys. I must scavenge it. You guys want to see me screwing something in? Canada Post is a joke. I got GMK um, Vice Knights with the CMYK add-ons there. I thought it looked pretty sharp. But apparently Canada Post is like, yeah, it looks sharp, but you're not getting it in time. How hard is it to crack polycarbonate? I can imagine not that hard, but I've never, I've never attempted to. I called them Thursday, tracking said it was a New York distribution center. I told them I would drive 45 minutes to pick it up. They said it isn't even in New York yet, but the tracking said it did. They do that often. They'll tell you one thing and then mean another. They will definitely do that often. It's actually so irritating. I was like, where's the last screw, guys? Just don't mistreat the key. I agree. Use Aether on this. Yes, I want to see Aether. All right, so before we do anything else, here is the board. We're going to put feet on first now. 
Guys, that actually looks really nice. I don't have minimal, unfortunately. I do not have minimal, unfortunately, guys. Where did I put the feet? Oh, right here. Looking nice? I agree. Ooh. One big thing too, guys. Because you guys know the show USB port, I will hear in a second. I did solder it already, yes. Is the feet don't go over any screws, which you guys know, that was the only real other second point of hard criticism I had for the Space 65. This is actually awesome. Look at that. What solder did you use? Um, Ostor brand? I've only ever used this brand here. We fought to make sure no, yeah, I agree. More like a quality of life change. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, let's take a look at the back here. That looks nice. So this has been a fun building experience so far. Making sure everything lines up nicely. You guys want to see the back here, the USB port area? I mean, they're two, in my opinion, Techie, they're two very different keyboards. Let's grab a Think 6.5. Let me grab a Think 6.5 for you guys quick. I was afraid the headphones are going to fall down. I have a badge list, think, 6.5. I just threw my hair back, sorry guys. There will be white feet, by the way guys, there will be white feet coming out with some of the models. I'm not sure what Old Cat has planned for the polycarbonate one, but white feet will be included with the other one. So this is the original think. They're very different keyboards. This finish is a lot different too than this finish. Obviously this is fiberglass reinforced polycarbonate. Um, this is integrated plate, so these are gonna sound vastly different like very very different so this is you can already i can already tell this is gonna have a hugely different sound profile in terms of shape and everything the feet on this do look like they sit higher it does look a little higher hold on let's see no nope, it's actually the same it's exactly the same i'm just blind so it's actually nice. So production will have white feet? Yes. The rubber feet at the bottom will be white for polycarbon and I think the E-white or anything with white. The PC needs Mizu. We're putting MT3 first, guys. All right. Okay, hold on. The RGB is kind of fire. Hold on. Guys, look at the little logo. Oh my God. The logo is Pog. This is a 1U. Uh, this is, well, yeah, this is a 1U batch. Guys. Okay, we don't even need keycaps. Fuck it. Yes, and stare at this. Let's see the back with the RGB on. Ooh. Interesting. So there's an LED right here that illuminates this half, which is kind of cool, actually. Not that we're going to be looking at the bottom anyways. Let's flip this over. I'm always afraid I'm flipping cables the wrong way. Dude, this is actually beautiful. I know it's unicorn puke, guys. I like unicorn puke. We'll change it. Look at this. I 
I like the anchor. I personally like the anchor. I know some people don't. I'm wet. <laughs> Me too, cursed. Make it orange. Wait, why? Oh, because the, the, the... Okay, hold on. Wait, let me open up Via. Where did I put Via? Via. Enter. Gray Studios think. Lighting. And let's go to what? Orange, you guys said? Can we do orange? Solid color. Orange. That's not orange. That's green. Oh. I accidentally clicked something. I accidentally clicked something, boys. I hit reset by accident. My bad, boys. Function Q. Is it just Function Q for that? I don't even know what buttons function, though. Does RGB work with tangerines? Uh, I mean, that's for per key. Isn't that not for per key? Per key will, uh, will work. But this is underglow only. Guys, I'm so sorry with the Windows audio. That's why I unplugged it. We'll, we'll try it out later. Let's put the keycaps in. The key next to the blocker is the default one. This one here. I know, I, I need to figure out a way to mute the Windows volume while we stream. So we're going to try MT3 caps to start. Then we'll move over to some other caps. And to anyone who's going to tell me to flip the spacebar, I am not flipping the spacebar. Oh, let me... Back to normal. That's not ski data. Wait, what? When we said we're gonna use ski data, I have to take that off another keyboard entirely. Flip it. Why, why do you guys all like flip spacebar so much? I actually did try after stream one day and I did not like it. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Not a fan of flipped. Flipped is weird. All my homies love flip spacebar. What benefit do you get, dude? Click it. Oh, okay. I'll do that. I'll do that unkind. That's actually a good point. You know, it's weird because like I think about it on stream and then after stream, I'm like, I'm done streaming. Time to go do after stream stuff. And then I forget about it. Flipped is for gamer gamers, but you get like a benefit from it who have bad typing. I mean, I have bad typing, but I don't like it. Switch you and I. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you guys. Sometimes I forget, guys. You know, oh, sometimes you, I don't know how this works. Stash boss, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Bronze, thank you so much for the three months, dude. Come on. Thank you, dude. Wait, did I flip him wrong again? Where's my other keyboard? No, we're good. Like looking at my other board. Out of stock and hydrate? Yeah, I don't think I did a bunch of hydrates. So let me just quickly drink some G Fuel right now. So this is via compatible. So it's stock, like what, what I'm putting in now is what it should come stock with in terms of a layout. I agree, cursed. But if you guys feel the need to change it, you guys can with via or QMK. All of, all of your boards are flipped. No, they're not. Stop that. They're not flipped. None of my boards are flipped spacebar, guys. V is so smooth and quick. I like it. V is nice. V is nice. I 
Cursed, do I even have a code? I don't even know. Should I get one cursed? <laughs> hey Alex, I just put dielectric grease in my stabs, but my space bar is now kind of sticky. How much did you put? Flip the entire board? I mean, yeah, we can just, we can just flip it upside down. What I think though is like, if you guys are putting too much dielectric grease, you really shouldn't put a crap ton. I know some people really like to layer Crytox, but I've never heavily, heavily, heavily layered dielectric grease. Um, if, you, if it is a little bit too much, try to wipe some off. You definitely don't need to put to the point to where it's not coming back up. But it could be indicative of, of another problem as well. So definitely take a look at that. GMK Redacted. I don't even think that shipped yet. I think it just ran, didn't it? I don't know if you guys can hear that yet. What's the nicest RGB profile? I mean, I like rainbow, but that's just me. Redacted, I think, is supposed to ship like late February. Feels bad. Feels bad if only MT3 Oblivion was PBT. What's MT3 Oblivion made of? I, I don't know, man. I told you guys last stream that I'm starting to have a huge affinity for MT3 profile and it hasn't gone yet. I still really like MT3. The caps also have like a really, really nice texture in my opinion. Uh, I did not have case foams like underneath, but I did have the foam in between the plate and the PCB. This 8008 set is so dull. You have 8008 cursed? I thought you didn't get 8008. 8008's not quite vibrant, vibrant. Arrows. I bought the. Eight, oh, okay, you did get 8008. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's upside down. Where's my switch remover? Or keycap puller? M and N backwards? How does this happen? I'm just kind of putting things in the row they're coming in, thinking that, thinking that I, I got them all right. Where does it end then? Why can't I remember? Muscle memory was, oh, that's upside down now. Guys, don't judge me, please. I can already tell you guys, this sounds very good. We'll do a quick typing test before we plug anything in too, so I don't type on the keyboard. We don't do typing tests like for speed here. We're gonna have to reprogram this too because I'm gonna change up where some stuff goes. Actually, how do I have it on this one? What did I change last time? Did I do page up or page down there? I'm gonna copy my other layouts, but this one here's a little different. Oh my God, the space bar is upside down. What have you guys done to me? You guys kept saying flip the space bar and I actually did. Uh, I do actually, but I usually put them, I can't remember if I put them here because it's like out of habit, I just click on my keyboard. I think I put them here actually. Yeah, I do put them here. This is how I usually have my Hello, this delete. We're gonna put artisans here anyways. This, uh, there's not many keys you get with this, unfortunately. So none of these profiles are right over here, but I'm gonna change it up to what I use here. Flip spacebar? Wait, flip what? What am I flipping? I don't wanna flip anything else for you guys. The 8-bit artisan? Yes. I will actually be getting one eventually to take a look at. Ooh. 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 I don't have a weight yet. Still in boxes. So I have to I have to unbox it. 
Hold on, one sec. Where's my music? Come here, music. Come here, guys. Let's get in close. Let's get. Let's get in close. Get that in a second. Oh, thank you, dude. Don't judge my typing voice. You guys know I like clack, so. These are MT3. So with that being said, let's just take some stuff apart here. Oh, I'll just leave this here, actually. Um... Oh, this is not. I need a 6.2, 6.25. Let's just grab like two keys out of this. What do we grab? So this is SA. And this is MT3. And then let me grab a 6.25 and I say. Thank you for the bits at Sports Guys. Appreciate that. So that's the SA spacebar. So I know this is in the way, guys. Let's see what a G and K spacebar sounds like. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, it's super smooth. So good job me for not doing a bad job on these stabilizers. Do PBT? Oh man, you guys are... Okay, give me a second. Let's put back the MT3 in here. I do have cat profile. Um, Hold on, let's do the rest of the GMK stuff here. And I'm just gonna grab some random keys. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna put them in. I don't think I have like a T and a Y here yet. 
We're actually... Hold on, boys. We'll try a whole bunch of different things here. You know what, APR? I actually have OEM profile. I ain't joking around. I'll do it. This is GMK. MT3. My personal preference is MT3 and SA, but I do like the clack. <laughs> Let me get my cat profile stuff. Hold on. God, there's so much stuff on my desk. And everyone's favorite cat set that they give me shit for every single time I use. Highlighter orange. I know you guys love and hate this. I think I just bit my lip. I don't know why I just did that. I, I know it's focusing on my mic. I'm sorry, guys. Stop judging this cat set. Ooh. Here because it's on another board right now, but and the boards downstairs. I don't feel like getting it, so we're just gonna take out two things here. Put that set in the fire, guys. What's wrong with this set? I know you guys all like it. Okay, so MT3 and cat don't sound too far apart. That's MT3. Thank you, dude. Oh, I kind of like. <sighs> Stop, guys! Don't judge my space bar anymore. It'll take it off. I'll take off this space bar. But the SA space bar, though. Come on. I wonder if I can get away with just using the SA spacebar on the MT3 set. Oh, thank you, dude. All right, let's try the MT3 one more time. So, what are your guys' favorites? What are you guys' favorites right now? Trip, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, by the way, guys, and thank you everyone who's. Done a Twitch Prime. Baron, thank you so much, dude. Cat, GMK. GMK has fallen. Well, let's check GMK one more time. Sounds like GMK. Hold on, let me get a PBT spacebar too. One second. I don't have any dwarf ones. I'm like literally debuilding every other keyboard I have in my collection right now to do this for you guys. This is a PBT spacebar. Sounds exactly the same. It sounds exactly the same. Ah, a little, it's a little deeper than the ABS. Hey, Pierre, do you like my word choices? I offer.
offer debuilding services, guys. I take the keycaps off of your keyboard and send it right back to you. If you guys would like that, I do it for free. You just pay, pay for shipping. But I can professionally take off the keycaps off of your builds. It's debuilding service. I exclusively offer this, and it's uh, patented to me. If I see any of the other keyboard builders do it, I will sue. These are my debuilding services. What's the address? Um, I don't know. It's free, dude. I just take the keycaps off. It's all, it's all professionally done, though, dude. It's all professionally done. I have professional tools for this. You guys don't have them. So you guys can't actually... Yeah, you guys can't actually do it. Sorry, guys. I'm the only person who can offer this service. I can melt them down. It will be done on stream only if you pay extra. <laughs> only if you guys pay extra. All right, guys. It's a debuilding service. All right, we take the keycaps off. We put them back on. Look, look how stupid this looks right now. Debuild them out. I debuild, guys. Look how, look how professional I am. I took two off at once, okay? Look how professional I am. Look at this. Easy. Easy. Look at this. Ready? Easy. Easy. Damn. <sighs> if only I knew it was this good. Uh, there is no per key. What? There's no per key on this one here. At least, was there? I mean, I didn't see any... RGB, wait, where's the eye go? Don't judge me. No, there's no perky, right? Like, unless I was going crazy. Okay, I like the way this sounds. This is my favorite. Hold on, wait, wait before I plug it in, guys. I need to do everything else here. I need to put everything else off my desk. It's like a, a giant mess. Oh, God. How do I pull these keyboards? What's this plugged into? Oh, that's, that's just a extra USB. Use this one. I don't know what color this is supposed to be. He flipped the space bar? No, he didn't. Stop lying to me. You and I backwards? Oh my god. I did it again? Stop judging me, boys. Where's my keycap puller? Guys, it's really hot in my room because I turned off the fan, so the heat's clearly getting to me. There you go, it's back on. I'll survive. Ah, oh, the fan. Noob D-Builder? I only D-Build. Guys, listen to me. I only D-Build? I didn't say I'm a professional builder. Only D-Builder. You guys have it all wrong. I'm good at D-Building, not building. D-Building is my forte. Can we get a side profile? Okay, I'm going to unplug it if we do a side profile. I mean, yeah, I can do it like this. It's just going to be a giant blob of RGB, though. Let's flip now. Oh, my God, this is flipped. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. I'm just building things. I'm only D-Builder. Yeah, there's the side profile. The type feels actually very soft. Is there a red cat set? Um, what's that one there? It's cat explosion? That's kind of close to what you're going to get. We go back to rainbow now. Or will you guys hate me if we go back to rainbow? I'm going back to rainbow now. So which one's the this one here you said is function? Which one's function? None of these work for function. What's function, guys? Oh, this one. Found it. Ooh. Ooh, we can just make this glow. Okay, I thought I thought someone said it's near the badge. Ooh. These keycaps are godly, please. Also, my camera is set to extra exposure right now. You guys want to see what it actually looks like? There we go. 
This is the actual brightness of my room. I just have it set to plus two EV on the gain for exposure. I actually really like these keycaps, guys. No judgment. And again, if you guys want to see that side. I assume, I don't know if these do anything for anything else. I'm trying to experiment. I could just look at the, the list, but. Go pink. Is there a pink preset? Ooh. I don't think so. Ooh, I kind of like this, though. Should be some controls in V1 Think? Yeah. I ha my V1 Thinks, and Curse can attest, uh, my, my V1 Thinks are completely mapped differently. You have to switch from Solid Killer? Yeah, I'm just going to go into Via, because I'm really lazy. Oh, wait, this is the Rama Via? Actually, does this work? No, it does not. Uh, which camera view is your Sony a7 II? This one right here. This one. Up above. Can you dim the lighting on just the badge? It's a great question. I don't know. Let's find out. Via. Yeah. I don't think so. Old Cat, are you here still? Can you dim the lighting on just the badge? I know it might seem like it's really bright on my camera, guys, but it's actually not that bright in person. It's actually not that bad in person, as you guys can see. It's very different on the camera. Badge bleed? It is bleeding a little bit outside over here. Hold on, let's, let's bring it up to like a positive, yeah. So this is, like what you see on the camera here is a little bit brighter. But if I were to bring it down, I'm going to see what I can show you guys is like the most accurate. I don't even know if this is a good. Yeah, this is a little too underexposed now. It does not look like you can actually. So guys, we're going to have to build for the PC, the aluminum top though. Wait, PC top with aluminum bottom? I could try that tomorrow, but you're not going to see too much. So we're going to only have the 2U aluminum, so we're going to have to swap that later on. Can you move the badge? It's easy. I'm scared too. How do we remove this badge? Is it? Is it just... Oh, never mind. It's literally a magnet, just like the other one. So it's a magnet just like the other one, guys. You didn't tweet that you were alive? Did I not? I don't use Twitter for too many things, to be honest. Big brain move, dude. Here, let me pull the two of you for you guys. This is the other case. This is the one that we're going to be doing the giveaway for. This one. Right here. Uh, but they will physically switch to turn off the entire in the production PCB. So there you guys go. Get Lazy has the answer for you guys. So they're going to be a physical switch for the badge LED on the production PCB. Yes. Up, Discord is where I literally post everything, guys. The bleed is steering away from the polycarbonate. Again, to be honest with you guys, let me take an actual photo for you guys, not just using the recording. Because this is trying to balance the scene right now. And I'll show you guys what this actually looks like. It does bleed outwards, but it's not as quite as bright as what you guys see here. It does bleed outwards over here, though. Let's see. MT3. Yeah, this is MT3. I love MT3 profile. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Do you have any teal badges? I do not. Is the TU a magnetic? I'm assuming so, but I don't want to do anything to ruin it. Maybe we have to push it out from the bottom, but there's no real place for me to grab it over here. Yeah, I'm assuming so. I can do another one for you, Granty. 
Hello from chat. Dude, what's going on, dude? Poke it out from the bottom. I don't have my fingers don't work that way, boys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. My pinky does. Nope, look, and there's actually some foam here, too. I guess to help diffuse it, which is pretty neat. I have no extra badges. No, I'm sorry, guys. Old Cat said those will come in eventually. I'm not too sure if those will come in after or before the group buy. Oh, thank you, dude. Oh, thank you, dude. Juke, thank you, man. Oh, this is a little bit of a pain in the rear end to put back in, though. There we go. Perfect. All right. So, what are, what are our th final thoughts, guys? Can we see the side in the back of which one? All of them. So, sides. Like I said, my camera is not doing justice to the RGB right now. It's fully diffused. It's just really bright on the screen. We're going to be doing all the combinations later this week all the combinations will happen later this week when we build the pcb for this guy here and then we're going to just start swapping back and forth so that will happen this week here too guys is it possible for you to show us the bottom while it's glowing yes like i said this is not the best example my eyes see this differently than what i see on the camera So the only thing I could really say for criticism on the back over here, I just wish that one LED was like centered so it can illuminate the back clearly. But yes, guys, this one here will be the giveaway. Oh, well, I'm going to take a photo for you guys, I promise. CZ, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, bro. Appreciate you and all of you guys. I'm going to stick to a polycarbonate. I'm sticking to this. Can you show it the bottom of the white aluminum again? Yes. What I'm going to do though is flip this guy here over. Just so our camera can better expose itself. I can tweak. Yes. That's the only criticism I have. Honestly, guys, the board feels great. It sounds great. It was easy and fun to put together. This is, you know what? Actually, I want to do a typing test. Wait, wait, I have an idea. Hold on. And it won't be kind of fair, but I'm just trying to think to myself. There are different switches for the time being. When we assemble the other one and we swap out some of the parts. So this is the key 65. Which I know is like highly, highly. Mimi, how are you doing? If you guys don't already know, if you guys want some Mimi entries, there's a code in the bottom. If you guys don't already know. In the bio, guys. Clavier is here. What's going on, Clavier? Ross and headphone? Yes. So it won't be a giveaway on stream, but I can say, because I have tried this with linears. I actually have a linear PCB for this. I have this in aluminum as well. So we will be very, very much comparing it to the key 65. I'm always afraid to type in like type in random things and like so in terms of like experience, like typing experience, both have a very, very soft typing experience with the gaskets in terms of like what you'd normally find. So it is a little bit softer in my opinion. Sound profile wise, they're both polycarbonate. So you're gonna get that nice polycarb sound. I do love my lube. We are going to build the aluminum one. Oh, wait, no, for the aluminum one, we're going to be doing whatever you guys want because that's the giveaway one. So we will be talking about that. Can you compare RGB on camera so we can see what the key 65 looks This does not have RGB. The key 65 does not have RGB. So unfortunately, no RGB. Uh, I can. I can, Apiary. Which set should we put on this? Which set, guys? There are different switches, though, Apiary. This is Zelio, and this is a linear. So it's not a great comparison right now. That's why I said it wasn't too great. I don't have Bento, guys. What kind of case is this? This is the Fink that we built today. This is the Key 65. 
Like I said, the Key 65. Definitely one of my one of my up there boards. What's heavier actually? Hmm. Actually, they're around the same weight. Yeah, they're they're different switches. I'm gonna install the um the plate and PCB I have with the uh. Actually, is that aluminum? There's gonna be some variables. I just like the plate on this more. Ooh. There's gonna be some variables. I'm just kind of talking about more just the typing experience, I guess. Can you weigh the boards? I will have a wait for you guys soon. I promise you guys. Mizu would look amazing. I might switch to Mizu. We'll see. Got so many keycaps on my desk now. Bye. There we go. Which plate is on the Think? FR4. Keycaps on the Key 65? GMK Voyage. Do I have camping? I do not. Please put GMK on the Think. Okay. I will. Just for you guys. As much as it pains me to swap all these. Let's swap them. Let us swap them. I'm just going to move Voyage over there. I'm putting Voyage on these. What is the bottom board? That's a key 65. We'll, we'll swap. What if we do a, a good old swap, dude? Mr. Alex, should I continue calling you Mr. Alex? I mean, sure. Why not? Sure. D builder moment? I am a professional of this, guys. Right. Professional D builder. Look at that. Two at once. Who else can do that? Nobody. Do I actually want to put MT3 on this? No, because I plan on putting MT3 back on this. I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it, guys. I just put all these on. How sad. All right, we'll get these on right now, guys. Ooh. And if you guys were asking about the desk pad, this one here, the RGB one I'm using is from the Key Dot Company and will be releasing Monday. Mr. Alex, while you are debuilding, can you give us a dis... Oh my god, mass potatoes question? Everyone's gonna leave the stream. Guys, let me tell you. I got baited, alright guys? AP, let me tell you guys a story. While we do this, I'm gonna switch into story mode here. Let's, everyone gather in about how Apiary baited me, guys. She sent me this cute ass dog. So I don't really care for mashed potatoes because the, if you guys don't already know, I don't really care for mashed potatoes, alright? Mashed potatoes for me or whatever. The texture, I'm a texture guy, alright? So one night, AP area, like 2 a.m. in the morning, I swear to God, it was like 2 a.m. She sends me this like ominous text message and she's like, hey, I need you to check something out. It's pretty important. And I'm like, all right, what do you got for me? So I'm, I'm up at this point here. I'm fully invested in this conversation. She shows me this photo of a dog and it's, the dog's called mashed potato or mashed potato or something like that. She's like, how do you feel about mashed potatoes now? I'm like, all right, I can get behind mashed potato now. That dog's cute as hell. I think you've changed my mind. I literally, guys, I literally tune in, like, the next day to her stream, okay? She's streaming. You know what she does? She pulls up that photo. Dude, chat's like, did you know that dog's dead? I got baited. For one day, I fell in love with mashed potatoes. All right? For one day. The dog's dead. She baited me. For one day. I got so invested, guys. I got baited. She literally was all like pumped up about this dog. Turns out the dog's no longer existing. So how am I supposed to feel about mashed potatoes now? Can we get some F in the chats for mashed potato guys? That dog was cute as hell though. All right. That was hella sad. That was like legit one of my top 10 saddest streamer moments. She was very sad on stream too. It was visible. It was very visible. She was emotional, but what can you do? Poor mashed potato dude. I like how someone put, Nanu put in mash hype and then puts F, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Fieri. It was a roller, it was, really was, dude. She was so excited. She actually, she like changed my mind for like less than 24 hours, guys. She actually changed my mind for less than 24 hours and then literally my feelings got destroyed. Hey now, I like my Alex Otis view. We're literally just switching keycaps. There's nothing exciting about this, guys. Unless you guys want to see professional D-Builder service. Then I can show you guys. 
then that's pretty exciting. She actually baited me though, boys. So sad. Hey Alex, have you tried the Holy Pandas from Drop? I have. Oh, wait, the new ones? I have not received them yet. The new Palm ones? No. They're like, I have these ones, which I don't want to compare quite yet because these are not from Drop. But I have not gotten them. Less talking, more debuilding. Dude, it's happened. Look, look at the debuilding happening right now, guys. You guys can see it in the small little cam. Just squint. I'm a professional debuilder. Give us a sneak peek. I can give you guys, but you guys can't copy it. All right? You guys can look at what's going on here. Remember, this is patented. Check Discord DM. Hold on. Hold on, Cursed. Popper loves mashed potatoes. Or Cooper loves mashed potatoes. One well, Cursed just sent me a cute popper. Let me show you guys. Let me quickly show you guys. Look at this popper. Curse says he's really into mashed potatoes. That's a cute popper, guys. How can we really know if the debuilding is taking place? As a professional, you just have to trust me. All right, professional debuilder. I still like my MT3 caps better. I'm like fully invested in MT3 caps now in SA. And I used to hate them. Well, you used to not dislike SA. That's so weird how that, that tastes change. So this little guy over here, I believe this is more like a prototype. It's like from a guy named Jabril in our Discord. I'm not too sure if he plans on doing more of these. You guys can ask him, join the Discord, ask him there. It's exclamation point Discord, if you guys want to join in on that. How many toe picks do I need to send you an Aether early? Oh, I don't have any Aether, unfortunately. <laughs> I only have mine and it's not even a complete set because I had to give a whole bunch of pieces away for color samples. Aether's on a different board right now. He has more Jabril's awesome. I have one. Yeah. I don't know if he's making more. Like, I actually don't know the whole story behind it. He just sent me one. Just to, like, take a look at it. It's actually quite nice. Guys, look at the form. Look at the technique. Look how fast this gets done. All right. Look how quick this is. Are you guys fully taking this in? Do you guys realize how quick this is? Do you guys realize I also have to take this off again later when I want to put the MT3 caps back on? Do you know how much pain and how much work this is? I got you guys. I got you guys because you guys asked. Look at the hands. Look at the hands, dude. Look at the placement of the hands. Hand-eye coordination happening. Look at the moves, boys. Yeah, I know it's a lot. It's a lot of a lot of skills, dude. Just use the Rama later. <laughs> I'll be honest, man. I, I love the visually like the Rama Koyu is my dream keyboard, like one thousand and ten percent. But never once did I actually say that it, the typing experience on it was like hundred and ten percent. For example, the spacebar on the Koi U is not, because it's an integrated plate, is kind of pingy and loud. So I'm not huge on that particular, like there's some pieces on it which I just don't really care for. The Zenith I did order. Alex, the Discord icon is the Crazy Designers Discord icon turned 45 degree. Crazy Designers Discord icon? What's Crazy Designers? I have no idea what that is. You guys, are, you guys are speaking different language to me right now. This is the best tweet of all 2020. Let me see that. Hey, how pipes? Oh God. Oh God. I don't even want to click that to see if it's real. What color Zenith did you get? The sand one or Oru, Aura, whatever it was called. Actually, maybe, maybe GMK is kind of nice on this. So guys, some final thoughts while we do this here. Build experience is really fun. I think the board looks awesome. The PC, polycarbonate, actually is really awesome. Um, I think it looks visually really cool. I can't wait to put some tactile switches in here. However, the filmed and lube tangies I don't know, they're kind of fire. And while I prefer tactile switches, I do like a good linear. 
Uh, would you recommend buying two? One aluminum and one poly? Wait, what? For which one? Sorry. Technique? Or tech? Yeah, technique. Uh, oh, totally up to you. You meant for for this. Yeah, yeah, totally up to you. I thought we were talking about the... Um, I was like, they didn't offer a Zenith and poly. Amongst all my polycarbonate boards that I've tried, um, this... So without going into too much like... Okay, well, none of this will work here. This I need to move. This is not the right bottom profile. Without being biased towards them at Gray Studios at all. I'm gonna say this is definitely like, you know, from the little bit that I've tried, is actually pretty nice. So far, I think this is gonna be definitely like, sound profile up there completely. That's gonna be hard to take away. Is there another bag of this that I... I don't know why I do this to myself. Why do I put everything in bags for? Is this the right one? Look-wise, top tier. You guys know I like the way this looks. Don't ask me why I do this to myself, guys. Oh wait, this is not how you're supposed to be here. Yeah, I can show you guys a side profile too. Give me a second, let me just finish doing this. Okay, just for the time being, I'm not finding the other ult. We're not doing that right now. Why do you do this? I don't know why I do this to myself. It's because I have, so, like, very little space. You guys like this a lot, a lot better? Alright. Let's, let's, let's do another sound test. Gathering voice. Where did I put the... All in all, this might be one of my top. I like the badge too. The badge makes it for me. I don't actually put a lot of pressure on my space bars, guys. This is how, this is how I type. That's how I click the space bar. Like, I mean, if you guys want me to, I can't even do it. My hands don't work that way. Weak thumb. This is an FR4 plate. What badge do you prefer? 2U or 1U? I'm not too sure. I think I prefer the 1U. Yes, you guys can. God, there's so much stuff on my desk. Ooh. Yeah, if you ask Apiary, she's going to tell you it's the best. Which I, I can't disagree with her. Why would I? She's Apiary keyboards. Ooh, see, this is why I don't plug things in, because then I just click a whole bunch of other buttons. Uh, where is my fan controller? Would you cycle through the modes? I can de debuild. That is true. This is kind of adjusting the speed of this. I don't know if we would ever use this mode, but I mean, some people might. They'll be the VOD immediately when we end this, boys. Oh, uh, Christmas colors? I actually don't like this. Ooh, I like this RGB.
Some of the modes of RGB I can't ever imagine anyone using. Like this I can imagine someone using. The kind of breathing effect. Maybe not fast breathing. Do you think it might be worth to try it out? I think you might actually be very surprised about how much you like this. So what color did you, Zenith did you end up buying? I got the like bronze one or the beige one or whatever you want to call it. Is this Via compatible? It's flash for Via right out of the box. So to answer your question, yes. Oru, that's the one I got. Oh man, I hope I don't fall asleep. Oh no. Can you customize RGB in Via? Somewhat, there's like a lot of options like you would normally get in, in Via, like uh, breathing, cycle, and then you can adjust the colors gradient from there, but. Side profile with GMK, please. Um, let's just unplug it for now. Oh, let's do this side so you guys can actually. These are tangerines, lubed and filmed. So some things that we can actually take away from this then that old cat said he's even gonna change too. So old cat said he's gonna take a look at changing the colors which we knew before the stream. So the colors of these will be changed to white for the polycarbonate builds. Um, actually old cat, will they have a choice for these? Uh, the other thing, the other takeaway is Old Cat said he's going to take a look at that RGB placement for the PCBs. Just to move that, I guess, into the center or over to the right, or I don't know. Maybe maybe just not include this RGB piece over here. Just so we can uniform this over here. So he said he's going to take a look at that. And then he also said that the production versions of the PCBs will have a toggle for this. This little badge over here. Other than that, guys, what is... I want to know your guys' final opinion, so definitely type that in the chat. Space cables. Oh, my God. Reagan. Hi, Reagan. What is what is your guys' opinions on it? Rub, beard rubbing ASMR? Yeah, when I scratch, you guys can hear it. I'm digging this. There's really no build criticism that I have with it. It was fairly straightforward. As you guys saw, it was not a tight plate, which you guys don't get with this type of plate material, which I absolutely love. Uh, we're going to be doing the aluminum one later this week, and then we'll mix match it all the same day. So as far as PC goes, I would like to see the aluminum top. Yes, we're definitely going to try that out. But we're going to we're going to break this into two streams just so we don't go overboard in this one stream in case someone wants to reference it. Logo anchor isn't my cup of tea. I mean, that's a fair. That's fair, dude. I actually like the anchor. I actually have since day one. I actually told the old cat since day one that I actually quite liked it. You're in for your first polycarbonate? I love polycarb. Uh, I think that's a good question. Where would the physical switch for the um, badge be? Probably somewhere on the PCB, I assume. Probably on the back. I think that would make more sense. Maybe even on the front would be kind of cool. Like the Bluetooth you can get on the canoe. Oh, the best, sorry, no caps. It's okay. Thanks for getting my hype levels even higher. I'm, I'm proud that I did that, though. Pretty proud. How do you like the how do you like this compared to the Space 65 Cyber Voyager? I'll be honest, a little bit more. So the Space 65 for 300 bucks was a good sounding board and we've tried it with three different switches I think now. And I liked it. And I still use it to this day. But this one here has a very honestly has a more of like the sound profile that I kind of like. Love the stash thanks to uh, which I like a little bit more clack or a little bit more thock, depending on what caps I'm using. And this provides that. Like, I really like clackiness. So that's just me. I know, like, for example, I know Minterly, I think she prefers more of a thock. I don't know what Apiary prefers. I don't know. Actually, what Apiary, if you're still here, what is your sound preference? Just like I know some other people have different preferences with sound. I feel like the PC, very versatile with different themes. Yes, I agree too. The board sounds incredibly clean. I actually really like it. It, it actually sounds really, really good. The um, the gasketing quite like so uh, the gasketing with this with the polycarbonate is a bit softer. The other one, I don't know the durometer of this stuff, but the other one uh, we're going to be doing for the aluminum is a little bit harder. 
So we're going to see if that also makes any bit of a difference. We're also going to see how the aluminum one sounds. I think Apiary will probably get to the aluminum build before I do, to be honest with you guys. So if you guys haven't, um, at Apiary Keyboards, go check her out. She thinks she's going to be building it Thursday. So if you guys already want to go check out her, or don't already, sorry, already check out her, definitely check her out. Do a typing test. I can do another one for you guys. I'm pretty positive she's doing an aluminum. It's Thursday, right? Yeah. Does it sound the same way in person when you compare it to the videos? I try to do as mostly as accurate to my ears as possible. And I have some very expensive headphones and very expensive sound equipment. So I try my best. I don't really edit anything unless it's like there's a lot of background it's like static in which I'll just edit that out, which doesn't usually affect my sound profiles when I actually upload these to my computers. Yes, I will do another sound test right now for you guys with GMK Cherry Caps. I think you guys unanimously like this more than anything else. But I probably will switch back to MD3 because I prefer that for my own keyboards. Oh, let's just open up. Sounds really good. I feel weird. I think it sounds great. What stabs did I use? I used, oh my God, Duroc stabs. Smoky, smoky black, smoky gray stabs. Reagan, we're building the uh, Think 6.5. Guys, you guys really didn't like the MT3? Let me tell you guys this. I didn't think I liked it either, but then I tried it and it was awesome. What is your all time favorite tactile switch? Holy Pandas. Easy, easy play there. Uh, those tabs really love the keyboard. Yeah, honestly, this is awesome. FFF switch? Mm, is that a particular type of switch? I have not, but I have tried JWK switches. <laughs> Sounds good, looks fugly. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that, Nanu. Just like you guys didn't like my cat set. Uh, I prefer Lube and Holy Pandas. I use a tiny bit of 3204. Should be bigger? I think this is a good width. I don't think I'd want to overcrowd this again guys let me take some photos of it for you guys without you guys having to see like the overexposed rgb on this because this is quite this is definitely overexposed on my camera and then i will show you guys this does not look this way in real life dang now it's a sexy keyboard it actually it actually is quite nice it actually is quite nice I'm putting MT3 back on this after. So after stream's done, you guys are gonna expect photos with the MT3 set? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, or we'll put SA. Maybe I'll put laser on this. Will there be an aluminum top PC bottom? I think Old Cat was saying there might be that in the Schrodinger version, but we don't know. Alex, you may try paint on the inside surface between the badge and case. I could try that. I could try that too, Old Cat. For me, it's not really, like I said, when you guys see this in person, it's a lot different. For me, it's not bugging me. To me, this does actually not bug me at all. But I want to take some actual photos, because like even this, you can actually see all the details in your eyes of the polycarbonate, but it just looks blown out on the camera. The weight's nice. The feet work. It's not sliding anywhere. Has a decent heft to it. The, the aluminum is definitely a lot heftier. How will the LED glow? Oh, I actually don't know. We don't have a 2U for the polycarbonate. But guys, good job. Old. Can we get some pogs in the chat for Old Cat and Gray Studios, please? Pogs in the chat for Old Cat and Gray Studios. How many of you guys are actually buying this, by the way? Pog guys. Pog guys are fucking both of those guys, man. Potter and uh, Old Cat did, did a killing on this, dude. 
this is actually a great keyboard for, for 350 bucks you really can't go wrong i love the way this looks and feels i'm, I'm going to be ordering another one just like i like the space 65 so much i ordered another one well yeah the polycarbonate's 380 but if you guys want an aluminum one they start at 350. And 70 dollars guys i know 70 bucks for shipping i, I don't I'm sorry, I keep forgetting that it's 70 bucks for shipping. I know, it's DHL though, you guys get it in three days. Most of you guys. Getting three? Essentially 450. Okay, so 450. Every keyboard has a shipping cost though. Can you try aluminum PC combination now? At the moment, I still have to build the 2U plate, so we will do that. I promise you we will do that soon though. Promise you guys. We will do that though. I promise, promise, promise you guys. Do you know any way the shipping could be cheaper? Hong Kong at the moment is not offering regular post, as far as I know, still. The only way to get stuff out would be through DHL. And I don't know if that's gonna get lifted anytime soon because coronavirus has not stopped. So we have, not, not that that's an excuse for anything, guys. I'm just kind of letting you guys know the, the situation with that. I've had artisans that I've had to ship out in Hong Kong that are either going to be stuck there that I just chose to pay like the $50 fee because I just wanted them. Taco, what's going on? Hong Kong Shipping Canada is, is still out? Yeah. So Hong Kong Shipping with regular posts, not courier services, is still out. So we have to keep that in mind too. Again, not an excuse, more just what's going on there. Packed in feathers. Old Cat is a designer for Grey Studios, not the owner. Yes, he is the designer. But all the boards are being shipped to Hong Kong to be shipped out. Does polycarbonate yellow over time? Uh, you know what, Foreigner? I actually don't have an answer for that because I, I, I don't think it does. But I could be completely wrong. So I don't really have a good answer for you if polycarbonate will yellow over time. If you guys have an answer, then by all means, let me know. Uh, do you have a 2U to build? Yes, we do. Uh, modern polycarbonate doesn't yellow anymore. So there you go. Clavia has the answer for you guys. Shipping overall sucks right now. Shipping for everything sucks. Man, I miss your streams. I haven't been here in a while. It's okay, Ace, uh, Ace Monkey. I still love you, buddy. Taka, I want, I want poly, but I really... Uh, but I really am, am not in love with the anchor. Oh, on the bottom? I mean, yeah, I mean, if you guys aren't in love with the anchor, I mean, I can't force you guys to. I don't mind it personally. I think the anchor is a cool look to it. Show aluminum again. Here's the aluminum. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys the, the RGB cluster of the camera. There's the cutout for the USB. The U white coating to my eyes is pretty damn flawless. I don't notice anything wrong with it. I will be building the aluminum version version and guys, the aluminum version is going to be a giveaway for you guys. So we will build it. You guys are going to vote on the switches and then it, then it's being given away. Oh, it's not semi-gloss. I mean, I don't think it's semi-gloss. It's more matted. I mean, maybe a tiny little bit of gloss, so maybe semi, 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 semi gloss. Uh, later this week, I like two U. One U takes away from the key set. Totally up to you guys. I like the one U version. This is exactly why I didn't get a badge version of my think, my original think. Can you pick the colors for the tops and bottoms separately? No, not at the moment. Do you think it's worth putting a clear coat on the Think 6.5 brass weight? I mean, if it's anything like the other one that I have, mine isn't tarnished at all. I think it might already be coated. You'd have to ask Old Cat. I don't know the details there. I love the anchor. It looks almost like my tattoo. I mean, yeah, that's why. I mean, I have old school tattoos. This is why I think the anchor is cool. So that's for me, it hits like a different spot in my heart. The new one is not coated. OK, so yeah, maybe maybe that's a good idea. If you put an aluminum top with the art with the uh, polycarbonate bottom, yes. And I will show you guys once we build the PCB for this. I will show you guys that 
come later on this week. Most likely Friday we will be doing that, okay guys? Because I don't really have a great way to, I mean, oh man, no, I can't really show you guys right now, unfortunately. I mean, I technically could. Refuse to sink. Why is the brass not coated this time around? I actually don't know. I mean, can we, can we do this quick? Wondering, I just grab a PCB and just kind of stick it in there. Anchor is fire. No, let's, let's wait. Let's just wait to do it. Let's do it properly. Should I do it? To, should I just grab a PCB? Where's my PCBs? Please. Okay, we'll do it now. This is going to be super, we're not doing this correctly, but I'm going to try my best. Guys, look what you guys did. This is you guys. All right. This is all you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, by the way, guys. I really do appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Love you guys so, so, so much. King Alex. No, King, you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for the subs today, the bits, the follows. Crazy. Uh, I, I can't do a typing test, guys. This PCB will not fit with the top of the aluminum. I just dropped a screw. Where did my screw go? Oops. Help cheese? What's cheese? Desolder two switches? But then we won't have the right RGB. So wait, what did you guys want to do? Polycarbonate bottom? Is that what you guys wanted to do? Holly bottom, okay. Let's move this out of here for a second. We're doing this like super scuff kinda. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Let's just move the screws out of here for a second. Can we see both? I can do both. Just give me a sec, guys. Again, one of them is not going to be built, though. One of the ways we do this is not going to be fully functioning built. Jabra, what's going on, dude? And guys, no worries. Cheese is salvation? Wait, what? What about cheese? What the hell are we talking about, guys? We're disassembling to do the RGB test that everyone wants. Because uh, we're doing a prototype build. It's everyone's only here for the prototype build, not for me. Come on, let's be real here. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And I'm for my D building services too. I offer insane D building services if you guys want. Um, no other builder has the D building services that I have. I can take out your keycaps and ship them back to you. 
Debuilding services is what I really pride myself on. When we debuild, we do it like no other person. So we're doing this bottom with, is this the 2U plate? Where's the 2U plate? Where did they stick that? I debuild like a king, dude. You missed a screw? Missed a screw? What are you talking about? Missed a screw on what? There's no screws. Under the board? Oh. Yeah, just kind of. That one there's hiding there. Let's just mount this like this so this will kind of work. So I'm going to like kind of do this a little differently. Let's just grab some switches. Oh, wrong way for this. Three of my questions. Clavi, what were they? Sorry, I'm not really looking at my monitor right now. Was it about, was it about Call of Duty? Was it about Call of Duty, Clavi? If so, then yes, I'm down to play today. I have not fixed it for stream now. I still have no idea why the stream doesn't work with Call of Duty. I'm making something related to debuilding services right now. No, you can't. I patented it this morning. No one can do it but me. I am the only person allowed to do debuilding services now. My, my keycap removal services. Are you a full-time streamer? I wish I was, dude. I am not a full-time streamer, unfortunately. Not yet, dude. One day. I do computer stuff during the day. That is my main job. And some of these switches do not like being switched. But that's what I do during the day. I'm a web developer. Okay, so. Again, we're not putting the foam in this. We're not soldering anything in. I'm just kind of putting these here. Just to have something to rest against. Don't know if the tolerances are good on this. I don't want to scratch anything. There we go. Not sliding into place too, too nicely for this. We're not building the 2U version, we're just kind of testing this out. there's a trick to this but it's not sliding because it has no it shouldn't matter we're just trying it this is not guaranteed by any means but it does not seem to want to go in are those c3 switches And I don't want to ruin anything either. These are tangies, yes. Plug it in to see what it looks like. Hold on, guys. We're slowly getting there. I'm trying to figure out why it's not closing nicely. Hmm. 
So it's not really closing too, too nicely for this version. It's not. Old Cat, are you still there? Is there a trick to this? I got it. Never mind. We got it, guys. You fuck around with it. Might need to apply a bit of pressure. I did what you said, old cat. Just a tiny little bit. I was kind of afraid to. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. I mean, you don't have to screw this in. All right. So here's what it kind of looks like. That's actually extremely, extremely pretty. Hello. I haven't clamped it all the way down yet. not recognized. Why are you not recognized? Could be shorting on something too, guys. I haven't plugged it in. Big rip. Uh, mm -hmm. Try reconnecting the device. Already did that, brother. Let's try a different USB cable. So this particular PCB is not liking this right now. It's probably shorting because I don't have anything plugged in right now. Let's see. What if I just kind of hold you up like this? Nope. Unsure why, guys. Big rip to this. Try raw PCB out of the case. Oh God, I just put this in the case. And PCB is still not working. Try reset it maybe? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try doing. Now to get this off. Scuff PCB, maybe it's a prototype PCB. when I tried them all. It could just be something that we did in the case. Nope. Let's try resetting it. Is there a reset button on this? That I'm not seeing? Dude, Blinding lights? Yes. Ken Paula, thank you so much for the five tier one subs, dude. Oh my god. Send it to me, I'll fix it. Use shorter cable. Can you choose a PC bottom? No, you cannot. At the moment, you can't. One sec, guys. Because we did test these before stream. I tested all three. I don't know why this is not working with this. Uh, I wouldn't want this to happen to my thing. No, I probably won't, guys. Literally, these tested fine. All of them. Because I tested all the switches on all of them prior to this. For whatever reason, it's just not going nicely with this. No, it's definitely not that. Maybe a switch. Yeah, maybe it could be a switch. Try the third cable. Eh, let's try the short cable. Oddly enough, that works. Weird. Weird champ. God, this is bright. 
Reagan, why do you think that is? Too much power draw? Ah. Hold on. Let's put this back on the top here. What's going on with Alex? Oh, nothing. We're just trying the polycarbonate bottom. Whoa, that's bright. Let me turn that down. Hold on, guys. Wrong via. If so many. There we go. All right, you ready to try this, guys? What should we do? Not breathing. Ooh. Ooh. That looks pretty cool. Let me turn down some of the brightness here. Ooh, I'm actually not gonna lie, that's pretty sick. Not closed all the way, guys, I know. That is actually kind of fire. This actually looks nice, yeah. Damn. RGB is less in your face. It's kind of like more subtle. Dude, that's actually really nice. I'll be honest, I didn't think it would be this nice. I just thought it would be like, oh, RGB underglow. But yeah, this is kind of nice. It's best of both worlds, you're right. So you, at the moment, you'd have to order two boards. Yes. Everyone's gonna like be demanding old cat for this now. Oh boy. It's the frosted bottom. So now let's take the bottom of this. Because you guys wanted to see the opposite now, right? Right? So this one actually slides on no problem. The top and bottom. And I'll be honest, this this looks fuego. Hold on, let me show you guys. I already like this more. I like the top polycarbonate. Ah, oh, but there's like no RGB that gets through. I mean, it's not sealed properly, so it's gonna be a very poor test of... Yeah, there's no RGB that seeps through, guys. Ah, oh, man. But I mean, it looks really, really nice. Let me kind of show you guys. The white kind of peeks through the polycarbonate. So imagine if this was a colored polycarbonate or a colored aluminum. That's still pretty nice though. Like if this was like a pink or like a blue, 
this would kind of defuse it in the polycarbonate a little bit. I, I might just get a... I'm going to get an aluminum one then. I'm not even going to go Schrodinger. I think I might just get an aluminum one that I know is going to work with this. So I can do the same thing. I like it a lot too. So there we go. There's both. This is different looking though. Like look how nice this looks even from this angle. Well, you guys already saw it was kind of a tolerance thing too. I had to put a little bit of pressure to get this to work. I'm going to get a one U for myself. Side profile on which one? This one? On both? Afraid these things. Nothing's screwed in right now, guys. We're just trying these. E. Kind of find a friend to do a swap with. Both both ways look awesome. Both ways do look great. I think it'll look really good, blue. Man, I really like this way now. Yo, this is actually really nice. Like this? Okay, so someone's saying there's gonna be a channel in Discord to do swaps. Yeah, dude, I really I like it this way now. Well, guys, um, I can't do a zoom in right now, but this is actually pretty awesome. Yes, it, Delton's right. As you guys saw, I, I did have to struggle a little bit to get this on. So, with that being said, it's possible, but again, we don't know long term effects of doing this. It could cause something to be a little wacky. So take this with a grain of salt. Yeah, exactly what, if it stands more tests, exactly what old cat said. It does look pretty nice, but let's not rush into things and be like, well, we want this just cause it looks cool. It might not even work. And what old cat said, there's gonna be a swapping and trading channel. Well, guys, I mean, this looks really good just like this, too. With the white plate, that looks really fire. Let's put back together the one that I'm going to be using. I like, yeah, right? Super Switch. And I think it would look really good if you had, like, a colored um, bottom as well. Can you do full frost it? Like the full polycarbonate? Yeah, that's what we're using right now. Is that a black PCB on the 2U? Yes. The PCBs are like a dark gray, if you want to call it that. We will we will be doing Holy Panda switches on the second PCB. Don't even stress. We will be doing it. Oh my god, I keep dropping the screws. I have another complaint for the day. Not even about the keyboard. I just wish these screwdrivers had a bit more magnetism to them. Mind you, these are a little bit more of a strong looking screw. Old cat, do you know if the screws are going to be gold on the final version too? Or the old, or the um, old cat, are the uh, screws going to be changing colors as well? I need to buy a magnetizer. Yeah, I do. I'm just using my fingers. Keep them gold. I kind of like them gold. Yeah, that's why I was kind of curious. Color badges are my favorite. I, I I personally go with like a gold or a brass myself. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, Nord. 
Appreciate that, dude. All right, guys. So what did we think about swapping the top and the bottom? Did we like it? Yes or no? Yeah, buy the wow stick, it comes with a magnetizer. Well, maybe I have to buy one. No, we're gonna be doing the aluminum one probably later this week, because I need to get input from you guys. Well, uh, Tuesday, we'll probably be doing the second um, plate to see tactiles, but the aluminum one, let's do this, let's do this, guys. Tuesday, if you guys tune in, you guys can all vote, okay? on what switches are going to go into the aluminum one for the giveaway. All right. Then, once you guys vote, we'll build that Friday. Tuesday, we'll also build the Holy Pandas inside the second plate for the polycarbonate. Oh, man, this sounds so good. What time Friday? Uh, probably normal time, 7 p.m. Same with Tuesday. It'll probably be 7 p.m. EST or EDT. Um, so if you guys want to tune in for that, you like gold or silver? I like both, to be honest. Gold and silver, to be honest. Old cat. Toronto cases are down. We're still phase two. Yeah, we're, we're only phase two right now. A full type sound test? I mean, I don't really type a whole lot, but I can... There's a phone ringing in the background. I'll do another sound test for you guys. I'll do another one. You guys convinced me. You guys convinced me. We'll do another one. Oh, you know what, Frank or uh, Chrome, you got me. You got me with the Rick roll, okay? You got me, dude. It's really hot in Toronto too. Unique, thank you so much for tuning in, dude. These are tangerines lubed and filmed. These, dude, this keyboard actually sounds really good, dude. So I'm really happy with this. My honest, honest, honest thoughts. I'm very, very happy with this. It was a very fun build experience. The RGB looks awesome on it, the underglow. Not that it's necessary. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm gonna turn it on. I like the way this looks. The badge looks crazy. I love the way the badge looks. I personally like the way it bleeds over the edge. Um, so you do get that kind of spill over to the side over here. I'm really into this, guys. I really like it. And like, I don't think there's any core issues that stand out you guys said you guys wanted the uh the badge which i can agree with the badge uh, the could be a little bit dimmer or toggle uh can have a toggle to it which they said they're going to look into criticism i had was the rgb over here that one led could be centered that's the only thing really i can see dude i really like this though this is a keeper this is 1010 percent a keeper i'm picking up another one because i want to i want to do the top and the bottom yeah the v2 for sure the V1's super unique, and you can't you can't discredit that. The V1 is super unique, and I still like the V1 a lot, but the typing experience of the V2 is so much better. It's it's a lot better. I got full PPT Islander set coming with Green Islander Cold Crab Artisan and a Fractal Arc Anchored Artisan. Honestly, yeah, man. This is going to be... Man, I don't even know if I want to put MT3 back on this because I like the way Voyage looks on this now. So I'm really into this, guys. Let's Let's take another look at the RGB. I really like this. This is really nice. I will definitely do tons of photos on this. I'm gonna stick polycarbonate myself. I might do the swap over of the um, aluminum down the road. I'm gonna pick up an aluminum one for sure. But I'm, I'm really into this. It is VIA compatible, yes. It's pre-flash with VIA. I only have ortho red samurai, unfortunately. And yes, that's the other thing. I will be picking up all the badges because I don't know what badge color I'm gonna be sold on yet. All in all, guys, I'm not going to lie. 
they knocked it out of the park with this. Like again, for the polycarbonate one, it's 380 plus $70 shipping. I know you guys are going to say that to me. I really like this. I think it's a good buy. I think it's a good buy, guys. Do you guys have any final questions or anything you guys want before we end stream here? Do you guys have any final wrap-ups? <clears throat> Can I see the bottom lights? Yeah. We're going to be doing photos. I'm going to be doing photos this week. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's magical. Uh, that's a question for old cat, Neo. You should raid existentially your charity stream. I know he's doing a charity stream. We probably are going to raid him. Two you or one you? I'm going to stick with one you myself, but there's nothing wrong with the two you. I think the two you also looks great. We're building the aluminum one Friday because we still need information from you guys of what we want to put in this for switches because this is the giveaway one. We're giving that away. Do you know if the Anchor 1U or 2U badge will let RGB go through? It should. There should be some holes for it, but I'll take a closer look and get back to you about that. If you want to message me in Discord, put box shades. Oh, God. Would this be your main keyboard for now? Yeah. I'm going to be using this whole week. Thank you for the great stream. Thank you, dude, for tuning in. Hey, dude, I think you're pretty cool. Oh, man, dude. Guys, thank you guys so much. If you guys haven't already, if you guys sub today, by the way, there is a giveaway happening in my Discord for subs. So you, there's two artisans in the sub news section. Make sure Discord and Twitch are linked. You guys can enter that. And then I cover shipping for worldwide. It's it's pretty cool. There's unique artisans this week here. Um, so if you guys want that as well. Thank you guys for the bits. Thank you guys for the support today. Thank you guys so, so much. Gym Leader, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. It's in the sub news section. All you have to do is react to one of the posts. There's two artisans right now for giveaway. Clavier. Oh, thank you, dude. Oh, my God. Clavier. What's going on, dude? The stream was wonderful and was super fun. I'm hoping you guys liked it, though. I hope there was nothing you guys disliked it. I hope you guys tune in again sometime. Uh, Dream, thank you so much for the Twitch dude, Prime. That's a lot of gifted subs. That is a lot of gifted subs, Alex. Holy hell. Photos will be on IG, and I will be doing high-resolution photos, hopefully by next weekend, on my website. So we'll have a whole write-up, just like we did for the Space oh, 65. You. Another train at the end. Oh, God. The only thing I dislike is I joined late. Oh, I'm so sorry. The... VOD is going to be up literally immediately after this. Can't wait for your Switch, Matt. I, I'm, I'm going to see what Aether looks on this too, guys. I'm going to switch this to Aether probably later. Help him in a closet? I can't help you. I'm so sorry. Harem Heart, dude. Heart to you too. Just give me the final push towards getting it. I'm in love. This is, a, this is a great board. This is a great board. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zan, for the, uh, with the shipping, man. We appreciate you, dude. I appreciate you guys for coming in, man. Great stream is very informative. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. I can't pronounce that. Guija? Guija? I can't pronounce it, but thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Holy. Thank you, dude. Thanks, Alex. See you sometime soon. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, guys. Seriously. Is it Endgame board? I mean, it's... What's Endgame? Seriously, what's Endgame? I don't know what Endgame is. Something that you're comfortable with? I'm comfortable with it. I don't think there's true Endgame. With anything. Yeah, there's no Endgame. Period. Killed it today, Alex. I appreciate that, guys. Tried my best today. We're gonna be we're gonna be raiding um, Mr. Existentially Yours because he is doing a charity stream today. If you guys want to tune into Existentially Yours, give him some poggers in chat, dude. I can't I can't stop being in this hobby, dude. Get lazy. I can't, man. Oh, thank you, dude. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you, guys. Let's let's go raid him. But thank you guys so much for tuning in, guys. If you guys have more questions, join the Discord. I'll let you guys know in the Gray Studios one as well. Um, existentially, yours another keyboard builder. He's doing some cool charity stuff and some giveaways today as well. So if you guys want to tune around for that too, uh, thank you guys again, and I really do appreciate it. And thank you, Old Cat, everyone at Gray Studios. You guys are awesome. Love ya. Bye-bye.